Hi everyone, I'm Audrey. And I'm Anthony. Together we are Rianne Audrey. Yes. How are you feeling tonight? I am feeling well. How are you feeling tonight? I am also feeling well. Hopefully all of you guys hanging out in chat are also feeling well. Staying safe, well, well, healthy, well. playing video games. Playing video games. What are we playing? Uh, in general, like... In what, general. What is... What are y'all playing? What are, yeah, what are we playing? What are we playing? Well, yeah. What are we playing? But also, what are we playing? I don't know what collectively I'm right now. as a as a as a humanity. What are we all playing? A dangerous game. Oh yeah. Metal Gear Solid. Oh, dangerous, you say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she wants a recap. I mean, we're gonna get there. Oh, yes. Let's just say that's what I was trying to get at instead sure. of fumbling my words. Sure. Yes. Sure. That was the segue to the recap. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Big Tingy and Fizz? How are you both doing? Thanks today? for tuning in, yeah. guys. Appreciate yeah. it. Mm, yeah, Metal Gear Solid. Yes. How are you? Just how are you feeling about the game? Let's not get into the specifics necessarily. Uh huh. So far, it's so quirky, campy a little bit, um, and fun. I'm not actually play playing the game because sure. you have your hands on the controller. Mm -hmm. But I got I got to experience um, some fourth wall breaking moments that this game has. That I I knew about one of them. Sure. But I didn't know about some other ones, and those were really fun to uh, experience for the first time. Did you 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 said you knew about one of them? But did you know that that was a thing in Kojima interactive narratives? Um, no. You just thought it was like, oh, this is a cool one-off I thing. thought it was just a one-off. So, wow, wait, whoa, does this awesome. happen in more than one game? Sure, sure. We'll see. Sure, sure. I mean, I feel, I don't think it... I only... Well, I don't want to get too much into Metal Gear Solid 4. Sure. Which I watched my brother play a little bit of, but I couldn't remember if there was anything like that in that game. Maybe there was, and I just don't remember. Maybe. Maybe we'll get to those later games one day. Yeah. No promises. Yeah. No promises. But if Audrey's having a good time, if I'm having a good time, and if you guys are having a good time. I'm just time. like bracing myself for it to say like, oh, check check for the code underneath your foot. Oh. What is that behind your ear? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would be scared and impressed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Collectively, all humanity, Metal Gear Solid. Yes. <laughs> exactly. We are yeah. all trying to identify Meryl's uh, cute walk. Audrey's always thinking about the butts. I am thinking about it's just like you know you don't see that stuff. See more butts. You don't really see that kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe maybe more in more games of this time, but you certainly don't see that kind of uh, mm. um like <laughs> objectification. That, yes, yes. <laughs> that that kind of objectification is probably the best way to sure. uh, say it <laughs> but Meryl's Meryl's a uh, an interesting character she is certainly um while the characters have been flirty at least from Meryl's end it's been explained that she's been psychologically trained right? everyone has an intense intense past yes it yeah no one's just hanging out no one's just hanging out. Yeah. Some, I think everyone's kind of working through some sort of trauma that h has formed who kind of, or it kind of may explain some things about the the, the way they act. I mean, they kind of Certainly. reference like, oh yeah, this is kind of what happened trauma. in the past. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's intense. Baggage. All of it. Yeah, psychomantis. Psychomantis. Absolutely. Yeah. Great example. Um, You're not wrong. Am I? I'm not wrong. Yeah. You don't think so? Okay. I don't want to speak out of turn. It's about. I mean, your observation trauma lines up with what uh, I feel about this game. Too. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. It's cool for you to, um, you know, experience the game and just see these things that um, me and a lot of people in chat are just, just already understand about the game. Mm, but I guess my like big reactions and, and um, yeah, I guess my biggest reactions are to like the fun. Um, oh, Psychomantis is scanning your memory card, you know, yeah. kind of moments and look on the back the of the box. Cause, the special. Yeah, 
definitely I've never experienced that kind of thing in a game. It's so silly, but it like, you don't fully yeah. get kicked out of the immersion, yeah. if that makes sense. The only thing I can really think of is is a, a game on the DS. I, I won't say, and I don't even remember the name, where I had to close the DS sure, to, yeah, to, yeah, 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 to yeah. make something happen. And I was like, whoa, that's yeah. like... I know exactly what you're talking about. But yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's that's. Um, I'd say that's pretty similar. Yeah, that that's the that's like the only time and like blowing into the micro the microphone. Yeah. Of the, I didn't even know that the DS had a microphone <laughs> until the game told me to blow, and yeah. I was like, blow. Yeah, but the the way it's presented in that particular game that you're thinking about, it was still contextualizing it in the world of the game. Whereas in Metal Gear, Baker says it's on the back of the box. True, or the CD or whatever. Yeah, yeah, right. It's like that. That one was probably the one that I would be the most frustrated with if I was sure, like, you know, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. like being like, um, if I played this, you know, without without knowing that yeah. this that kind of thing. Um, but you know, like the oh, put the controller up to your arm yeah, for like a that's nice pretty massage. Straightforward, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, that's that's funny. Yeah. It's like weird and yeah. funny. <laughs> it's hard to describe. It's like, it's so, it's almost like so absurd that it's like, I like it. <laughs> I think you wouldn't have been prompted to do that if you had the regular original PlayStation 1 controller without uh, the vibration. You were not, you would not have been prompted? Yeah. Oh. Please confirm. Oh. Because it can't, it knows. I think, you, I think it could tell, yeah. Oh, What's up, everyone? Interesting. Kojiro's here. Kojiro. Hey, Kojiro. Um, Haven't played Metal Gear Solid 4. Right, yeah. I So that's why I didn't want to say anything more Certainly. specifically about no Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah, no, no, no spoilers here. And Martha's here. Hello, hey, Martha. Martha, what's up? Uh, Martha asks, have you heard of Phantom Pain? Yes. I've, of the mainline Metal Gear Solid games, one, two, three, four, um, five Ground Zeroes and five Phantom Pain. I have played Ground Zeroes. I have not played Phantom Pain. Oh, is that um, when, or when Kojima left after four? Is that what, Kojima wasn't involved in five or something? I or? think it was that he was kind of sidelined in the middle of the development of five, uh, something like that. Okay. I mm -hmm. don't know the details of the drama, just that it happened during mm -hmm. five. Play <laughs> Blossom. There's an achievement for looking up to be skirt ten times in near automata. Audrey, you got to play near automata. <laughs> I've got to guess that Blossom did not look up that that trophy and just earned happened it. to or just you happened it. to her. <laughs> You earned it, Blossom. Kidding. Yeah, yeah, Blossom earned it. Blossom earned it. You nope. did it, Blossom. Yeah, I mean, you you, you know, got to go for that platinum. Yeah. Um, yeah, I see you like as your dreams. Now I'm curious about the game, Kojiro. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, was it you that last time that responded, Kojiro, that like you were surprised that we had potentially played that game? Is this something that we should put on our radar? I like the name, as your dreams. Yeah. That's definitely something I would have used as like some sort of screen name yeah. or like a character name. On your... um. MySpace. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pocket. I'm gonna pocket that for a uh, future. As your dreams. As your dreams. Okay. Um, that's a lot of uh, DS games, to be honest. I can think oh. of four off the top of my head. Okay. I only can. I only, off the top of my head, can think of the one. Yeah. And I, I don't even remember the name of the game. I, I've talked to you about it before. It's like I don't want to say anymore. I, I don't. I don't think we're oh. on the same page. Oh, maybe not. We'll, yeah, we'll, I don't we'll think we're on the same page. We'll check later. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the microphone, I believe, was right in the middle of the hinge. Oh, really? Yeah. Or maybe depending on which model, the light or the original. Oh, okay. Because you had both, right? I did. I don't remember which... The DS Fat, which people call it. They call it that? Um, that's That would be the original one, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't remember which one I played this game on. But, yeah, I remember, like, being pretty shocked that there was yeah. a microphone. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. And then Phoenix Wright. Ooh. Phoenix Wright. Take that. Ah, uh, I don't. I never played it like that at all. I think. did, dude. And in I mean, bed awesome. late at night, I was like under the covers. Objection. <laughs> 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 Trying to be quiet. It worked That's too. That's funny. That's funny. Hey Raptor. Hey Raptor. Uh, and yeah, our massage was our, was such a surprise. A pleasant surprise. Yeah. In that moment, I needed it because <laughs> contextually, it was because Snake had been going through the torture, right? And the button mashing oh, was also making my arm sore. So, so the funny. massage was nice for me. I liked it. <laughs> it's it's kind of like a weird moment a little bit. Certainly. Yeah, it's like, oh, 
What? Oh, but the nanomachines cilia <laughs> or are stimulating your mar- muscle fibers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... Kodro, it was you for us, your dreams. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and Prince Leo, more Metal Gear. Yes, Leo. We're ready. More Metal Gear. Solid, yes. And Chupibaro is here. Hey, Hello. welcome back. How are you doing? Yes, how are you doing? Are we um, Are we recovered from the Omori trauma <laughs> nightmares yet? Yeah, what are you playing now? Yeah. What are you playing now? Yeah. Um, Viz never owned a DS. Oh, okay. So it just made me think of stuff with the Switch. We have to hold it upside down. Sure, using gyro creativity, creatively. I yeah. don't, I haven't used the gyro controls that much with the switch i there I, are some gyro things that i'm thinking about that aren't necessarily about aiming a ranged weapon Ooh. there are other ways to use gyro for sure right right, right. oh yeah. yeah yeah i i can think of one other as well yeah but yeah i think it's i feel like it's something that if you get good good with then it could be really like effective yeah. some people but have years ago given up on gyro controls mm. and despite years of them getting better and better mm. when they start a game with gyro their first thing is going to settings and turn it off they don't mm. even give it a chance i feel bad about that because i gave it a chance and i love it now mm. in remember- splatoon i love mm. gyro controls breath of the wild i really loved gyro controls mm. and now i try to insert it into whatever i can mm. yeah i remember there was a like a kirby game i forgot kirby on which I don't even remember, but it was like roll. It's like where you literally. It, it, the, oh, it's, oh is it? man, on the DS, right? Yeah, was it? Oh on no, no, the no, DS it's right or? here. Yeah, I, I on have the it. Game Boy. It Game is Boy on Color. the Game Boy. Okay, yeah, so I let me thought grab it was. It. It's right here. Okay, it was on Game Boy Color, and I I remember Tilt and Tumble. Ah, Tilt and Tumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had I played that as a kid, and it was so cool to me that you could do that. But it was so incredibly frustrating because I think calibrating it. It just never felt. It's also probably because I. Your childhood I played, copy. Well, yeah, um, I played this in a time library. where I didn't have like the patience to, uh, t- and like the fine motor skills. Gyro maybe, controls maybe. built maybe. into the game cartridge. Yeah, tilt and tumble. So cute this cartridge, um, and I love Kirby, but yeah, it was. I remember it being a, t- a fun try, but I, it's game. not. It's not something that I. Um, ever really got good at or something sure too frustrating <laughs> novel novel concept novel and for right? them to commit to putting that into each cartridge yeah game boy color yeah very sweet wow um and hungry Bree bear is here as well hey hungry Hello. what's up hungry how are you doing how's 14 treating you hope you're doing well yes and juby Barra, i will never recover <laughs> and uh juby's playing uh night in the woods now you've been interested ever I since it been. came out right i have been i have been um yeah, it looks the characters and the art look very charming to me. I know very little about it. I know it's, I've heard a lot of praise of about the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, seems cool. Hope you're enjoying it. Kojo, you can play Star Fox 3DS using gyroscopic controls. I have mm. Star Fox on 3DS. I don't know if I've played it very much. Mm. Um, Viz, I tend to not. Uh, I tend not to like gyro. Never turned it off in Breath of the Wild, but not really a fan. Yeah, B- Breath of the Wild came to mind for me as well because I believe there's an occasion where you need to use it, right? Am I, well, or maybe am I, I don't think, remember. Or am I thinking incorrectly? I, I just remember maybe maybe I was like Viz and I kept it on until this one moment and then I turned it off. I, for some reason, I feel like there was a time where it was... Uh, necessary? Was, yeah, necessary. I believe it. Um, but yeah, I think, I, I think I'm with you. I love gyro to the point I almost thought about buying Overwatch on Switch for gyro aiming. Then remembered I hate Blizzard. Oh, uh-huh. well, oh so Overwatch, Overwatch supports... Oh, wait, I guess it doesn't... I guess it's easily adaptable. I don't know if there's like yeah. how how that... A lot of the shooters that got ported to Switch uh-huh. took advantage of the, the gyro. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah. yeah. There's some gyro shrine puzzles that you need gyro controls. Okay, yeah, I am sure, thinking... Sure, that's right. I am thinking Maybe you're thinking about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I... I did recognize in the beginning when I started using gyro that there was going to be a learning curve. And not that I'm saying others who haven't given it a chance are impatient, but I just knew that it was going to take time and effort and practice. Yeah. And so I committed to that and I've felt it has been rewarding because of that. So now any, because I I have that experience, any new game that has gyro, the learning curve for me for figuring out that gyro is much less now. Mm. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I believe it. Kind of like if you grew up playing first person shooters, you pick up a new first person shooter and you're like, oh, I know keyboard and mouse. You know, like, I know how to do this. Already. Yeah, but I wish, 
I played more first person shooters. You think so? Yeah. Start your kids early on first yeah. person shooters. Yeah. Also gymnastics. I feel like I wish I grew up doing gymnastics. The heck is this coming? I don't know. This 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 kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> um Well, not all shooters have gyro, but Splatoon, Doom, Overwatch, Dusk, and Duke Nukem 3D. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nice. First person gymnastic <laughs> yeah. shooters, wow. Oh my god. That's the new Olympic summer Olympics sport. <laughs> Just imagine some esports Olympics. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds scary, yeah, <laughs> Jimmy All right, time for some Metal Gear. I think so. Should we recap? The yeah, let's story recap so far. What the hell even happened? Um, what do you remember? Give me a starting point. Oh, the starting point. A any starting point. Any starting point. What's well, a thing that you remember. We from get the last to this game? island. Shadow Moses Island? Shadow Moses Island. And I'm just kidding. No, yeah. we shouldn't go back that far. But um, yeah, we had a couple encounters with members of Foxhound. Yes. So we defeated Psycho Mantis. Which was awesome. We had an encounter with... Don't say it. Describe the encounters. Wolf? I know what you're talking about. Hungry Wolf. Hungry <laughs> I Wolf. Don't know, I don't remember. No. Pew Pew Wolf. Yeah. Sniper Wolf. <laughs> Sniper Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do? She sniped Meryl. Yeah, sniped Meryl and baited Snake out to save Meryl. Yeah, so we had to do backtracking to the armory and get our own sniper so rifle. So you fight, you fight sniper rifle with sniper rifle. We take her out, but she sneaks up behind us with a bunch of soldiers and captures us. Yes. We wake up and are tortured by Revolver Ocelot. Yeah. Liquid Snake is there. Yep. Someone else there. A lot of stuff Probably. that they're talking about that doesn't quite line up with the things that you thought were going on. Right. Nothing is quite reconciled, and you're not confident about the things you know and see. Still. In general, yes. And it feels deliberate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then Snake gets tortured because they want to know where the card is, right? Yes. The uh, three or three? Pal three cards, yeah. Cards, and they have one of them, mm -hmm. or we had one of mm -hmm. them. Um, and we so don't then know who the other two are. We call Otacon and he sneaks over to try to help us out, but he can't. But he gives us some stuff, including a bottle of ketchup. We use the ketchup. Yeah. Pretend we're dead. Yep. Guard comes to check on us. We bounce out. Yes. We grab Classic. our stuff. We're heading out. We get a call from Deep Throat. There's a bomb in your inventory. Oh, yeah. We find the bomb. We toss it. Uh huh. And then what is our objective at this point? At this point, um, it kind of feels like the team is like, okay, we can't rescue Meryl anymore. Yeah. We don't know where she is. They reconcile like, Meryl wouldn't want you to focus on her. Take yes. out Metal Gear. Yeah, yeah. So we go pursue um, like Metal Gear and we We're get- We're heading towards the location where we think it's stored. Yeah, and then we get caught up in an encounter with the hind- D. Hind D. Hind Piloted D? by Liquid Snake. Oh, no? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I was like, did I get that wrong? <laughs> I'm just trying to remember it. Yeah. And then we died because I shot a rocket into the wall right next to us. Yeah, it was it was a very methodical process. Yeah. Just like, you and know. Tragic. Yeah, hide. And then as soon as it, like, hide you know. Seek, pretty yeah, much. basically. But it's just, yeah. Um, hide and heat seeking missile. Hide and heat seeking missile, yes. Mm -hmm. Um,. So that happened, and I think that's kind of. Oh no no no! And then that's where we are. We yeah, there um, were there were some soldiers that we fought that had the um, stealth the yeah. stealth on them. Um, Hotakon connects the dots slower than anything. Slow as molasses. Yeah. He's like, I got my stealth thing. It was one of five, and I thought maybe I, I should go back. There were four more. Maybe I in, should grab one for in you. In his lab. And then I went we to go get him, and they were all gone. <laughs> And isn't that the sound of the elevators like over a weight limit? Uh oh, yeah. Uh oh, they're <laughs> like, in there. Yeah. <laughs> they're invisible and they're in there. Yeah. Did we steal one of the stealth suits at least? No, we bust them all up. Okay. So we, we broke we the suits. We oh. destroyed them. We destroyed the suits. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then um, I don't think it's a suit. It's got to be like a module, right? Oh. So Otacon's like. Not yeah, one of the suits. yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. And that's it. So and we're on it. our way to wherever Metal Gear is. Our, our objective. 
destroy Metal Gear. So, so like pending questions: Who is Deep Throat? Yes. Um, why? Oh, oh, something we didn't mention is that uh, Mr. Donald. Donald Anderson, the Donald, DARPA chief. Mr. Anderson. Yep. Was we we he was like one of the first people that we encountered on the island and supposedly had a heart attack. Mm-hmm. And then uh cutie yesterday or last stream, we see the body of Donald Anderson in the cell that we were in, yeah. That seems decomposed that has been it seems to have been decomposing for like three days or something like days. that. So either, you know, some, something's going on with uh, Mr. Anderson. Yes. I don't know yet. Love it. I'm glad we're only playing this once a week, but I'm glad you're remembering these things because it's important. Yeah. I, I feel like I I have a suspicion, mm-hmm. but I don't want to say it. Oh, why not? I don't know. I mean, chat's not going to confirm or deny. I'm not going to confirm okay. or deny, but we would all love to hear whatever your suspicions, predictions, and everything are. Pain in the ass. Pain. Ten months. Thank Pain you so in the much. Ass. Thank you. Oh, Mini dance got, party for you. I remember yeah. when you joined ten months ago in the middle of Audrey's Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Nine. Nine yeah. play right? Yeah, I, I remember, remember you were in the that dwarf village yes. when Pain uh, showed up. Before Pain in the Ass's username got censored. Stolen. How dare they? How dare they? We're but thank you. you so much for <laughs> um, um, supporting us all this time. We appreciate you. Yes, Hungry Wolf is the new official name. Oh, Hungry okay. like the wolf. Yes, that's there it. Is. <laughs> there it is. Hungry Wolf sounds like something Kojima would actually do as a Duran Duran reference. <laughs> See, I'm not. I'm not. Um, it's not out of nowhere. It's not out of nowhere. I mean, Sniper Wolf is like the least. Like, or I guess I mean they all have the. I. I feel like the. What is it like the descriptor to the animal for each Poxtown member has been somewhat unique, but then Sniper Wolf is so literal. Like, yes, mm, she's a sniper. Mm. Well, I guess Psycho has a psych psychkinetic abilities. Anyway, Jace is here. Yes. Glad you can make it. You've Jace. been watching the vods. I appreciate you being here. Oh, thank you so much. Nice. Oh, we appreciate the support. A lot of yes. explosions last time. Yep, yep, yep. A learning death. Yeah, yep, that's yep. definitely what it was. And Colin is hey, here. Colin, How what's are you doing? Up? Vigorous Colin. Um. Yeah, there were lots of explosions last time. It was like a Michael Bay movie. That yep. is a great way, Good way to, to describe, describe it. It. It, it. The whole the whole game so far feels like a Hollywood movie. Which is fun. Yeah, it is fun. It is fun. Stealth cardboard box. Yeah, we did use the cardboard we box did. a bunch last time. We did. It was uh, fast travel. It's it's um so iconic. I'm glad I'm glad we get to see a lot of these yeah. like Metal Gear icons yeah. that like that you kind of knew, but you didn't know the context or how it was used. Well, in the I, no, I knew the. I mean, the cardboard box is sure. Yeah, yeah. One, but as a, a quick one. travel, you didn't know that. Oh no, no, I didn't know yeah. that. And I was like, "There's no way you would know that without someone telling you, right?" Like, w- would anyone think to like, "Hey, maybe if I camp here in this cardboard box." I mean, there's hints like you you oh, get okay. multiple boxes and you read that each box says to this location. The other box says to this but location. But as a as a game mechanic, it just felt like a very sure. like black top go uh talk with your your schoolyard friend. Hey, try friends. Putting a thing on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, did you oh, hear? Otacon said it? Rathor was saying Otacon. Oh, Otacon does say okay, okay. it. Oh, cool. okay, okay. So there's okay. hints. Okay, there is. There's there. dots. Okay, Big Jenny says to say my uh, my theory. Okay, I will confirm every suspicion, even if they're contradict previous suspicions. <laughs> yeah, I I feel like I I just my my uh, theories always evolve, so, and this, usually they're Which wrong. Which is good. So. It's fun. <laughs> I'm just joking. I got too excited. <laughs> Pain. It could have been my gamer tag. Kaz Death Knight. Whoa, what? Oh. So that's like your gamer tag. You you could have used that. On oh. Twitch is what I see, I see, I see. Um, oh, if I recall, the first Metal Gear might have truck fast oh, travel. Easter egg oh, Easter egg. Oh, so. I don't know about Easter egg. It's legit functional. Right. I would say it's just like... Um, but it's like... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, like, you wouldn't think to try it. Like, sure. oh, okay, these boxes say this. So it must... Maybe if I... Did the oh maybe Try I don't know it, it might it might be um yeah and Prince Leo thinking outside the box yep. or rather <laughs> in one Audrey has enough theories to make an M Night Shyamalan movie all the twists and turns maybe yeah yes hey Lou maybe Audrey, like are a, you feeling better I am feeling better Lou thank you so much for, thank asking. You for asking yeah Lou. I just had kind of a headache on Monday um but I'm ready for more Metal Gear Solid so yeah I suspect yes well I don't know exactly I don't know what's up with the bodies. Like, 
Donald Anderson, I don't know if he like <sighs> because he died. He had a heart attack. Right in front of our face. In face. And Snake in our arms. I'm guessing Snake checked the what body. The and it would be weird to fake something like that. I'm thinking there's some shenanigans. Maybe like Maybe maybe there's like Okay, I'm just gonna say I don't even know how it'll it connects. But maybe Deep Throat is Donald Anderson. Ooh. Okay. We appreciate you saying all these, you know? I I don't because I haven't you looked know, back at you our old VODs. I wanna know VODs. what you're thinking. I haven't looked back at our old VODs, but I thought maybe the voice sounded familiar to me. Mm -hmm. Um and the only character that I haven't seen in a while that we've heard is Donald Anderson. Sure. So I was like, oh, maybe, maybe that. Um, so that's what I'm running with right now. Okay. Yes. So let's hop in and the game will give us a little bit of recap, remember? Oh, yeah. And then the mission log and then yes. we'll hop right into it. Thank you everyone for being here. Yes. Um, the schoolyard game gossip always just makes me think of Gen 1 Pokemon with the rumors about yeah. using strength on the truck to get Mew. Iconic. Yes. Or uh, missing no. Missing no. Or missing number. Just like, mm -hmm. you know, you go, I forgot, you talk to the guy and then you swim on the edge of Cinnabar Island yep. and you go there. That legit works though. It does yeah. and it breaks your game kind yeah. of, but it was so cool. Um, yeah. How many games that use the word shenanigans? Blossom, we say it a basically lot. every every game streamed on, yeah, yeah. Re, on Blossom's our right. channel. Um, we love shenanigans. Oh, Leo has been under the weather as gotcha. well. Stay hydrated, so get some it. sleep. Yeah, I hope you're feeling better, Leo, and hope everyone's, you know, trying their best to stay healthy and safe. It's, yeah, kind of wild stuff right now. It's crazy so. out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get well soon. Yeah, Blossom. Radiant Historia, shenanigans. Final Fantasy VIII, shenanigans. Parasite Eve, shenanigans. Definitely. Metal Gear Solid, absolute shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans, bananigans. You watch the catching tutorial, then swim on the left side of the body of water where you're one, you're half on land. Yes, exactly. yes, yes. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kojiro rem remembers. Um, Pepperidge Farm remembers. Anyway, we're back. We're back. Let's use the um, mission log. Is that what it's called? Read mission log. Yes. I'll read it this time. I think you read okay. it last time. Yes. To stop the launch of the new type of nuclear warhead, Snake must use the detonation code emergency override key at the underground maintenance base up north. Underground maintenance base up north. Or destroy Metal Gear itself. Snake fights Liquid's Hind D on the roof of Communications Tower B and defeats it. After taking the elevator in Communications Tower B and defeating the stealth camouflage soldiers, Snake heads for the entrance to the underground maintenance base beyond the snowfield north of Communications Tower B. That's right. We have to go outside, go across the snowfield into the underground maintenance base. Gotcha. And Clacy is What's here. What's up, Clacy? How you been? Hey, Snake. Or, or, oh, hey, hey, Snake. snake. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hey, Clacy. Or if you want to be called Snake. Um, thanks for being here. How are you doing, Clacy? Clacy heard shenanigans, and Clacy shows up. All right, so this is the elevator where we fought the dudes. Oh, Stealth Leo. Dudes. Yeah, hope hope you start feeling better soon. We're thinking about you, Leo. Stop. Uh, who else is a bit of an enigma so far? Deep throw is the 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 biggest question, I mm -hmm. feel like. I'm slight oh, um Gray Fox a little bit. Certainly, I mean, we, yeah. We kinda just know that's some crazy ninja. Yeah. I'm just wondering how that's gonna resolve. Like, are we gonna be able to get through to Gray Fox? Cause he kinda just seems like he's he's killing I know what's in the next room, and I just don't want to lose any health. Oh, so. okay. I kind of feel like he's killing indiscriminately. Oh. Oh, nice. Good ol' chaff grenade? Yeah. Is this, a, like, a real tool, chaff grenade? I don't know if it's used in this way. Oh, okay. 
Um, oh, Clacy, please don't apologize. We totally understand. Uh, super active yeah, is preparing for this principal certification exam. Let's go, Clacy. You got this. Good luck. Yes, good luck. Hope preparation is going well. Yeah, it's time, Prince Leo. You ready, Audrey? Oh, oh, what? It's time? For Metal Gear? Oh, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh. Are you in control right now? Like, of running? What? You're taking a call in the middle of the field? Snake! Are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? What? Someone's aiming at me in the middle of this blizzard. It's her. <gasps> wolf. Something I forgot. Sniper wolf. <laughs> yes, it's her. Wolf it's and um, Otacon have Otacon, some sort of relationship. You sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake. Please don't kill her. Are you insane? Sweet. Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talk to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. She is. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Love wolf. it. Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way. Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Dude. Alright, we're gonna try our best. I really like Wolf's voice. She has like that like kind of like rolling, like uh like vocal fry quality. Yeah. That I, I normally I don't like when people have too much of that. Uh -huh. I think, it, but I really like it here. Yeah, it's certainly part of the character. Yes, yes. All right, I don't have any of those freaking. Thanks pills. for being here, Viz. Hope you have a great night, and thanks for popping in and saying hi. Have a good night, Viz. See you next time. Yeah, Clay, see, gotta get through here without being detected. Oh shoot, let me take this call in the open. Yeah, we yeah. just got hit, and then we're like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got to um, call I'm gonna my boy. I'm going to have to switch to like first person a couple times. Okay, no problem. So, warning for Audrey. For her motion sickness. Yeah, she, she's great. Raptor. She's great. Would it be accurate to say that she's like a femme fatale type character? Uh, I know the term, but I don't know like the technical definition of what that is. Okay. So I'm going to look it up. I'm gonna look it up for us. Why? Well, maybe because I just feel like she has this like sensuality, and she's obviously for, like like a deadly assassin sort of thing. Oh my god, where is she? This song, ten out of ten. Yeah. Oh, you can see um, her laser. Yeah. Yeah, the laser. Dang it. Dude! Ooh. This is brutal. Do you have any anxiety medicine? No, that's what I was looking for when oh, we first got okay. here. God. Ooh. There's another technique. I'm sure chat's thinking about it, but okay. I'm just trying this first. It's run easy anyways. Okay. Oh, nice. Got one hit in. And she likes doggos. Oh yeah, yeah. Didn't wait, did she she had a crew of dog doggos? Yeah, and we have her handkerchief now and the dogs. That's right. Our buds. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Um Clacy, oh have you guys gone to the Snarky Puppy concert already? I forgot to follow up a long time oh, ago. Oh yeah, we did. Yes, we did, and it was, it was incredible. Crazy. It was incredible. <laughs> They're so talented.
When was that? Is that like November? Uh, yeah, that must. Yeah, sometime in the fall last year. Dang it! Her jacket's too puffy. Can I get the arms? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Clacy. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's kind of exciting for. I I don't know their older albums. Well, I only I'm only really familiar with the um. Is it that we like it here? Album? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it is. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm mostly familiar with that one. Um, but they played some of some, you know, various various tracks from their discography, and it was it was so good. Okay. What was that, Audrey? What? What was what? One year from oh. Archong. Oh my goodness. <gasps> One year, Archong. Oh my god, Sniper yes. Mini Dance Party. <laughs> Archong, one year since the great Grand Dragon encounter. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks for Iconic. hanging around, Ryan. Yes. We appreciate you. You know, Archong, I hope you're just hopping Final Fantasy IX stream to Final Fantasy IX stream, just telling people about the best place to grind in Final <laughs> yeah, Fantasy IX. Just trolling everywhere. I, it's just. It's just uh, rite of passage at this point. Oh, I that Moogle's like. warning? Ignore it. He's exaggerating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, it was well after. That was my first encounter. And then after that, it was like, I have the perfect place to grind. No, it wasn't. Oh, but thank you so much, Archong. And it was a tier three sub as well. Archong. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That win was thanks to you, Archong. We did it. Yeah, sniper mini dance party. <sighs> it's pretty nice that they heal your life typically after each boss fight, right? Yeah, because you're also increases. getting more max health. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other technique is to use the um, Nikita. Rocket. And just shoot rock. Because oh. you can stay in a safe and then just remotely control the rocket. Oh, like, dude. Around. Can you just do that for every boss then? I know it's often used here. Yeah, Leo, the cyber rifle was hard to study. I remember that much. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. So um, I, Anthony used um, anti-anxiety medicine in the game before, which helped, but... Didn't have any more. Didn't have any. I Out of our prescription. Waited for this <gasps> oh, we killed her! I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Oh, here we go. Never moving a muscle. Backstory. Constant. Otacon's gonna be mad. I am long shot. You, you cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a card. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A card? So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on the battlefield. Raised on the battlefield. Gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs, day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then he appeared. Oh. My hero, mm. Saladin. He took me away from. Do we know that name? Saladin. No. Okay. You mean Big Boss? Oh! He became a sniper. <gasps> Hidden, watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war, not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, 
I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge mm. on the world. I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Hmm. Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... She was never my real target. I, I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. like you. You're a hero. Please set me free. No, you don't have to do that, do you? Oh, okay. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? Thanks for the resub, Trial that Four. Trial that Four will give you a mini dance party after the sad scene. Hold on. She's part of me. Everyone's here now. Hmm. The the howling in the background. Tears to shed. <laughs> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Mm. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Mm. Okay. I'll be searching too. Hmm. 
Snake has a lot of empathy for a mercenary. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's just for our fellow soldiers and mercenaries. He's, Certainly, he's, yeah. He just seems to understand so much. And, like, you know, about... Uh, well, in this in this case, what Wolf was, I don't know, dying for? Or what, it, what she wanted? What she was fighting for, almost? Sorry. Continue sharing your thoughts. I'm just looking for items. No, that's okay. Um, trial F4 with the resub. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Appreciate it. Mini, mini dance hint. party. Give you Nikita missiles in this room. Nice. Thank you so much for four months. <laughs> sad, sad dance party. Oh, yeah. and Prince Leo with the gift sub. Thank you so much. See, Prince Leo, thank you so much for the gift sub. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sad mini <laughs> dance party. <laughs> Little fiber box C. Yeah, Kojima. Yeah, I'm the uh, pre-battle. I'm gonna get that person for revenge post-battle. Darn you, Kojima, making me feel things for the bad guys. Oh, this is probably I one of the I love it when I feel conflicted. Yeah. yeah, me too. Yeah. Um. Let's remember that truck there. Wait, did we know already that that she had spared spared Meryl, or is Snake just kind of so in tune with? With um, we knew that Meryl was still alive. We did. If that makes sense. Okay, we did know. Yeah. Okay, but we had just kind of given up on focusing. Like yeah, if there was for a moment, it was like, oh, please. And Ken Campbell's like, oh, can you also save oh, Meryl? But right. then they kind of reconciled, like, we don't have time for that. Oh, okay. And Meryl wouldn't want us to waste time. That makes her. sense. I think I, I think I just assumed it was like a lost cause, and so they were like, oh, she's, she's dead. Grenades. I don't cool. kill for sport, she said. Yeah. Very cool character. Yeah. I think that's... Psycho Mantis was like the opposite, right? Psycho Mantis just wanted to kill and kill and kill yeah. as much as possible. Yeah. But she's really, you know, just doing the job. There's a lot of stuff yeah. here. I feel like I need to go back and read the dialogue a little bit more. Read about the characters a little bit more. Definitely. Oh. Um... Is there a way to do a non-lethal run in this game, or is that am I thinking other games? Because I I know that's a thing in Metal Gear. Maybe that's other games. Okay, because I was like, what happens if you don't kill her? But oh, <sighs> but if that was Dude. not an option, then <laughs> yeah, trial F4. I have the best timing. Yeah, yeah, y y you do, you do. <laughs> <laughs> hope you're doing well. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Did the new? Oh, there's some freaking diazepam. Oh, nice. Did the did the new guitar come in yet? Oh yeah, good question, Audrey. Yeah, might as well be a slow dance party loading up on that gear. Yeah, <laughs> loading up indeed. Okay, here we go. Uh, underground storage base or something like that. Oh, level seven. We don't have level seven. Do we need to check the body? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Maybe I should get that guide open just in yeah. case we need it. Do you, um, will you be able to find it? Oh, no, maybe not. We're good. Oh, okay. Okay, let's just remember there was a level 7 room there. Going through. More bullets. Okay. What? Did you just die? No. Wait, what happened? I didn't see. I wasn't watching. I was trying to find. Oh! It's time. <laughs> disc two. Okay, let me. Except switch. we're not actually using our discs. We are playing on original hardware. Okay. You guys know that by now, I think. Very exciting. I'm swapping the discs now. Swap away. You um, can switch back to it. Okay. Oh, cool, 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 cool. A uh, new guitar came in. Had to RMA it back oh. to Ibanez. Ibanez? Ibanez. Ibanez. Oh, yeah, we figured out. Yeah. Um, neck joint was done incorrectly, but power amp came in, so I has the power. Nice. Very nice. At least you can play with something new, right? Yeah. And hopefully yeah, you got to get it right. They got to get it right. Yeah. Hopefully the RMA process wasn't uh, too much of a headache. Yeah. Yeah, I miss how dramatic that was back in the day. Insert disc three. Yeah, it does yeah. feel like 
you've like disc swapping yeah the good old days like reading the next book putting down one book final fantasy 8 and 9 had four discs nine for sure did i think eight did too and then seven had three discs okay okay yeah archong swapping discs that brings back memories So here's the PAL card key, emergency input or override device. Nice. We just need two more of those. And there's nothing quite like swapping a disc. There's a guy there. Nowadays. And notice the floor. If I walk on that floor, it'll make noise. And I can't walk. I have to full speed movement. I think you touched him again. I know, dude. Oh, but you killed him right away. Yeah. I'm going to do my best to just remember stuff. But there, there is a chance we can finish this game tonight if I Ooh. don't just keep dying. You know okay. What I mean? What's going on in this room? What is that down there? Uh, it seems like some kind of forge or a furnace or a place where they're, you know, metal. Gotcha. Uh, did you see these little mice? Mice? Oh. Or rats. I do see them. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, yeah, Leo. I remember having to buy memory cards, too. Oh, technology has come a long way. Oh. That it has. I remember there was a game I was playing um, on the PlayStation, Tale Concerto, mm -hmm. and the memory card that I had was full. And I was trying to save, but I couldn't save because the memory card was already full. And there was no way for me to delete data off the save or anything like that with the game running. And I didn't want to lose all my progress. Oh, so I just yeah. left the PlayStation on. And I went to the mall with my parents, and I bought a new memory card. Fudge. And I remember that just being a really stressful time in my life. <laughs> yeah, Floor is Lava, Raptor. Yeah, it's actually... The ultimate game of Floor is Lava. <laughs> right there, dude. Um, yeah, Blossom, I was thinking some of these fights could be too hard for one night. Then I remembered it's easy mode, so yeah. maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We love we love a little bit of hope. Keeping a little bit of hope. Yeah, literally, floor is lava. Ration? Shall we use one? No. We're full. Okay, okay. Right, I'm gonna try to find that. Oh the guide. The guide, yeah. I can I can tell you if you can't find it, I can tell you what to Google to find it. Do you remember what um uh, was it? Was it Game Packs? Yeah, it was Game Packs. Okay. Got some C4. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's an elevator. Oh, we've created a shortcut for ourselves. Sweet. Great. Let's go back. Just trying to remember the layout of this room. Another ration right there. Dead. We died, Audrey. We fell into the lava? I tried to get a ration. That's I fell okay. over. Classic. Gosh dang it. Oh, back to the entrance? Yeah, but I'm sure the stuff I've collected we still have. Okay, cool. Yeah, toasty. Just no, the items are still there. I see. So okay. Are SOCOMs like silenced right now? No, I'm gonna try to grab him again. <laughs> you were full, you hoarder, you, Raptor says. Still? One's very sensitive. Yeah. 
Although technology has evolved to where we can just download games now, I still do... Uh, I still do get physical copies. Oh, I still do physical copies when I can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Same with us. Yeah, I think Me Anthony more especially like, likes... I got greedy. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Anthony loves collecting games. Yeah. I, I think I've kind of, for the most part, there are, there are some games that I will will get physical, but for the most part, I, I think I just like digital now. But I totally recognize how there's something satisfying about having like a physical box to look at, you know? Yeah. My rapper rap is the same uh, about physical copies. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. And we do occasionally lend our games to family and friends, so. True, there's true, that. yeah. This is where I got greedy. I got too close. Nice. First ledge down. Nice. Yeah, Metal Gear. Thanks for tuning in, Jason Bourne. Oh my god, it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you never get that when you chat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, what percentage of the time do you show up in chat? Dude, it's got to be like 95% of the time. Actually, thinking about Twitch, maybe like 99% of the time. You think so? No, no. Is that not like a... Honestly, only you have done it? Whoa. No way. Oh, Love look the at this hot room. Do you think that steam will damage us? Definitely. Uh, we've, already had, we've already had steam damage us. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, well, okay. Well, it doesn't do that much, though. So you Nikita might as well. Missiles, though. Say again? Nikita missiles. Ah, uh, yeah, you're awful. Oh, look at this. Look at the map. Out of like 15 to 20 people, gotcha. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I saw the cameras here. Body armor, dude. Don't fall, oh my god. Um, I think uh, I think Iron Mouse even got a voice thingy for it. What? A voice thingy, are we thinking? For for the Jason Bourne reference, or um, yeah, Nikita missiles in a steam room, great idea. Yeah, not a good idea. I mean, body armor, dude. Bulletproof reduces damage upon impact. Oh, hey, that's really sweet. I probably have to equip it like this, though. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, the oh my god, it's Jason Bourne. Gotcha, oh. gotcha. <laughs> uh. Nobody? That's not right. It's one of these like moving platforms. Oh, things. are we gonna get like um, like a wave of enemies on this thing or somehow? Isn't that usually how it always is on these kinds of platforms in video games? Definitely. As it's slowly, slowly yeah, but moving down. How are they gonna? Usually, I feel like there's some fantastical like oh enemies flying in from above or something. But how are uh, soldiers gonna materialize on this? On this? I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, did you ever see the Jason Bourne prank that Ma Matt Damon did? Random people were given a phone and Matt Damon talked like Jason <laughs> Bourne to them? No, I don't think I have seen it. That's pretty amazing, though. Oh. oh Good what? point, Raptor. Let's call everyone. It's been a bit. Oh, mailing. Yes. Thank you. Metal Gear is straight down. Oh, Better really? Fight. There's no time. The terrorists are ready to launch. Negotiations are all finished. The government can't cave into terrorist demands, but they're threatening to launch a nuclear weapon. They've made their final decision. 
Why is the White House being so inflexible? Colonel, is there still something you're hiding from me? Snake, please. Just concentrate on stopping them. Oh my okay? gosh. We really need to be more transparent. Yeah, I mean, there's an element of him saying he doesn't know everything, which I believe. Yeah. But what additionally does he know that he's not telling us? D cer certain things, definitely. Certain things. Um, Jason Bourne, yeah. This is Audrey's first playthrough. Yes! I've played this before, but... I am playing, but yeah. you know it's like a guided tour through yes. the game. For I'm going to call it a playthrough, but really it's like a watch through or a backseat through. Um, Koji says that they're waiting on a physical copy of Knights of the Old Republic for Switch. Yeah. Oh, That's thank you so much for the follow. <gasps> oh, my God. Mini dance it's party Jason for Bourne. you. Yes, mini dance party for the follow. Thank you so much, Jason Bourne. Thank you. Okay, I'll keep hush hush. Thank you, Jason. We really, or Jason Bourne. I feel like I need to say the whole name. <laughs> um yeah, we are, we, uh, we're being really careful about spoilers just because I want to preserve my, like, you know, first impressions kind of uh, thing uh, through this through this first playthrough. So, yeah, we really appreciate it when people are considerate like that. Yeah, Knights of the Old Republic was released digitally. And um, is it... Um, also, yeah, it was officially released by Limited Run Limited Run Games. Run games. Nice, nice. Cool. Really great. Cool. Yeah, I totally get it, Jason Bourne. Yeah, yeah. Master, you and I... We're nothing more than dogs, are we? That's not like you, Snake. Don't let what Sniper Wolf said bother you. Listen, there's not a soldier alive that doesn't question himself. And if there is one, he's nothing more than a murderer. But someone like Wolf, a soldier who's looking for nothing more than their own death, is no good to anyone either. Once she started to look for death, it was all over. That's how you'll end up too, Snake. Whoa. Snake, the elevator won't move unless you push the switch. There's a control <laughs> panel, right? I love that yeah, there's so many of these. Press the action button. Because you can call them at any moment. Yeah. It feels like for most, for the most part, they're going to have the context. You found body honor. It will lower the damage you take from gunfire. It is designed to prevent bullets from penetrating, but you will still feel the impact from the bullets. Don't rely on it too much. In China, they say, it's better to live ugly than to die beautiful. I think it's true. Once you're dead, you'll never have another chance to be happy. I can't understand people who want to die before their time. Please, Snake, promise me that you'll come back alive. <laughs> Jason Bourne, I'd pay to forget the game, to play it again for first reactions. Oh, man. We've if had that sentiment about, like, shows and movies. Yeah, and stuff yeah. I think in my case... I just, I generally am able to forget if I, if, <laughs> if enough time is given to me. Sure. You're right? D don't you think so? S for some it's things. It's different between us, but yeah, I, I know what you mean. Oh, oh, I mean for myself. Yeah, for yeah, you. No, yeah. for you, I feel like you, you generally can remember things very well. Yeah. I think for me, I'm Too like, well if I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. If I, given enough time, I, I will, I'll remember how I feel, but I won't remember the details. The details, yeah. So it's kind of nice. Um, that's my superpower in a way. <laughs> like, uh. You can re-experience it again, but it has like a slightly less potency. Yeah. But there's still a response. Yeah. 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 Oh, press the button. Is there a different panel? But usually, if if that happens, as I re-experience it, I will start to. Oh, he's wearing the body armor. Remember. Deep throat. Who's this? There he is. Here we go. Wave of enemies, or at least one wave. We checked behind those boxes. Dude. <laughs> it's funny that they waited to shoot at us. What the hell? They had ranged weapons. Why didn't they just shoot at us before we jumped on this platform together? Yeah, Leo, Mei Ling's calm voice will put anyone at ease for a mission. I do like Mei Ling's uh, voice and like 
Yeah, her her dialogue has been nice. Oh my god. There's like an element of auto aim when I use the SOCOM. Oh, interesting. Okay. But with the FAMAS, no. <laughs> I'm just like spamming bullets everywhere. Mm. The voice acting is top notch. We love I it. I totally agree. Especially when I think about um, another game that I played, maybe that came out around this time, Parasite Eve. Mm. Oh, no, sorry, not Parasite Eve. Um, Silent Hill. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we, we played Silent... Or it, no, that was Silent Hill 2. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this, that was after this, I'm, I'm assuming. Because it was... Um, Stop! What the hell is that? Yeah, and uh, Silent Hill 2 voice acting, while charming in its own way, um, doesn't really have like a a natural a naturalness to it like this one does. Yeah, Parasite Eve didn't have voice acting. Sorry, I misspoke. I meant uh, Silent Hill 2. The uh, performances are crucial to the experience of this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe even Silent Hill as well. Sil Silent 2 as well. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the performance. Are you kidding kinda, me? Kind of does add a uh, like a an air of um, like creepiness. They're uh, just jamming. They're just jamming. <laughs> um, did Kojima make Silent Hill two? Uh, no, I don't believe so. But I don't think so. Is it Konami as well? It is Konami though, I believe. Mm. Yeah, look at these. I'm picking them up if I crawl. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, there's mines here. Yeah, that's why oh. it, I got hurt. Oh, but uh, I put my mind detector up, but we can't even use it because there's a uh, oh jamming. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. The eerie music in this game is nice too. Yeah. Oh yes, the music in this game is really excellent. I'm gonna hit another mine, huh? Jay says, "I want to say the best voice acting for PS1." Bold statement by me, though. I I mean, I can't even. Cite other examples. Cite, yeah. I, I'm trying to think of another second elevator game that I that I can I've personally played. That, that has voice acting. Brave Fencer Musashi. I was thinking the same yeah. one. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't remember that being bad, but it's been a while since I played that. PlayStation One. Second platform now, dude. I think I think that is a very fair statement. I think um, so. To make. Oh, Metal Gear PlayStation voice acting over Twin Snakes voice acting. Okay, I'm, you've showed me at least one cutscene from the Twin Snakes. Yeah, off stream, just for, to compare for you. Just to compare because um, the, so the one specifically. Oh, go ahead. We'll take the call first. Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary. He questioned oh, it before, that's remember? Right, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? <laughs> it was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied. She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Oh. Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Yep. Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime... Be careful. She was pretty dodgy in that last conversation. Yeah, last she right was. Now. I forgot about that. I mean... Yeah, like, didn't you say you didn't have family? Yeah. Like, oh, oh, yeah. I mean, what's the thing that's linking everyone together? The shot, right? The nano machines? Come on now. Well, I don't know about... um, I don't know about the, the cyber ninja yet. I don't know if... 
Oh yeah, yeah. That Gray Fox must have gotten the shot before. So I feel like well, I feel like Snake is due for a heart attack pretty soon <laughs> by Miss Hunter, Doctor Hunter. Uh, only games I can think of with voices are Spyro, Crash, and Mega Man X Four. Oh. Gosh, I don't remember. Well, you know, maybe when I when I played those, maybe I wasn't really being mindful about, uh, you know, the voice acting or those details. Um, but I'll have to look back. That ninja is probably my favorite fight in this game. That it was pretty cool. Yeah. Hurt me more. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, oh, is this? A boss encounter? Do you notice the more and more ravens as we came down? Ah. Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Who's? Right, do we know friends. this? We haven't seen this person yet, right? What? We have. Oh, we have. In oh, the tank. It, oh, 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 oh. In the tank? Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world. What was, what was the full name? No Vulcan Raven. Vulcan Raven. That's so Raven, yeah, Jace. No. Must have been a tight fit for a big boy. It's the future I can see. For a big boy like you. But that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? Move. The raven has put the mark of death Dude, if he says nevermore. Blood from the east flows in your veins? I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics. Oh. Yeah, I know it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. I feel like this, is, this might be a real you thing, is it? Probably. The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious, it's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. Yeah, I don't remember any gimmicks for this fight. Okay. So I'm just gonna shoot him. Someone out there must have Vulcan Ravens tattoos. Must. <laughs> Psycho Mantis 2.0, but Ancestry.com edition. Yeah, there, I feel like I learned. Oh, it's telling me Nikita missile because I. Uh, how did? Well. I mean, Raven must have done his homework. I didn't know any of that about Snake, I don't think. Except the Alaska thing. Um, so, yeah, the... Oh, oh, nice. Oh, how fun is this? <laughs> no, I can't go this way. No? Why not? He'll shoot it down, I think. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, he shot oh, he shot me. No, yeah. I, I was like, he's very close to you. We can't just climb up on one of the... It's too high. Oh, I see. Because there's ammo up there. Unless that's for later. Or oh, it's some good item. Question. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, the uh, the boss fight was the... Uh, the Damn oh, it! You oh, got but it, got close enough. You got yeah. close enough. Okay. The boss fight that Anthony showed me in the Twin Snakes version was the... Um, the Cyber Ninja fight. The first one when uh, Anderson is all... Oh, not Anderson. Um, Baker was all like bound. Damn it. And that, they they made that extra, extra relative to this original version. Come on out. 
Is this Bomberman Archong asks? Kinda. Kind of, yeah. Okay, nice. okay. Nice. So I just gotta have it sneak up and dash oh, at him. Did the environment? Oh, it's getting busted? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's moving. The crate is like half off. 50% off. Okay, okay. Got him. So I have because yeah. the, the radar doesn't move with the missiles, so I have to like remember right. where he is. Yeah. Oh, that, I think items are falling. You're right. Uh, Twin snakes to 70s, 80s style to the extreme. We have it. You're you're in possession of it right now. Oh yeah. Wait, I have it right in front of me. Yeah. I'll show it. Yeah. So the only the only scene I've I've seen uh, of this was that one fight after uh, the Baker scene. After the Baker scene, yeah. When um, you fight Revolver Ocelot for the first after you, immediately after you fight Revolver Ocelot for the first time. Oh yeah, it w you don't actually fight him there, but in the Twin Snakes version, there's just this damn it, this really crazy cutscene. It almost felt like Matrix Bullet Time esque. Yo, certainly. Like you could have put that Matrix song, the dun 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 dun, dun that one. It fits. Yeah. Damn it. Close. <laughs> yeah, Emberlon. This is like one of my Japanese anime. <laughs> 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 Thanks for being here, Emberlon. How are you? Okay. Good, good, good. That's good. <laughs> I would love to see Otacon in like a new game. Oh, something fell. Oh. Good, good. I'd love to see Otacon in like a recent version of this game make actual quotes from the current or more like more recent anime that have come out. <laughs> Just so we know what anime he's watching. Yeah. Oh damn it. Oh, I don't know where he is. Oh he's like running now. He's full on running now. That's pretty terrifying. Yeah. I love how the minimap is just this, literally just like this blinking dot, but I feel the tension and the speed of that blinking dot. I don't dot. know where he is. I do know where he is. Oh no. Oh, he's missing you. It's okay. You got body armor. I don't know. They gave us stinger missiles in this room too. Oh, nice! Right. Wow. Oh, is that the one that you used against the hind? Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> D hey, Ooh. dude, let me get up. Dude. Nah. Uh-oh. My have... rations are frozen. Wait, oh, no. Wait, what did it say? Something about melting. <laughs> They're frozen, dude. How do you, how <laughs> do you meals. unfreeze them? No way. Oh, oh you. Clutch, dude. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just yeah. use a ration. Yeah. Oh my god, what if you shot the missile in your face again? Just as the boss said, hey, Fox's Hound, what's up? Hey, Fox's Hound. No Thanks for popping world. in. We did it, Jason Bourne. <gasps> no, are they all gonna pick at his body? Boss, my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. <gasps> in that way, I will return to Mother Earth. Me. This is intense and very Jack, gruesome. I will be watching you. Understand? That's so intense. Yeah. What like what a death line Snake, like I'll be watching you. Oh. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss you are from another world, mm. a world that I do not wish to know. 
go and do battle with him, I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes... Is... A fake? Is a clone? Yes? Is Deep Throat? Come on, give me... Tell me the truth. That's just what I think. Wait, let me listen to the voice. That was not the Dharma Chief. It was Decoy Octopus. Oh! Ooh. A member of... Oh! The we did he see... Oh! Disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. Down to the blood, okay. So he drained the chief's blood. Oh, wait! So he's actually, he's actually dead! He's act but he wasn't able to deceive the angel of death. Wait. The angel of death? Oh man. There goes my theory. But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> That is the end of my The why end. is the fun part, you Audrey. You solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Why impersonate the chief? Okay. Snake. I'm glad you didn't, like, Natural list all of the members again. No such thing as <laughs> well, we never got to see... Look at this. Yeah, this is intense. Straight up murder. Are different. What are you trying to or is that... Is that a... The path you walk is that a group of pros? No end. What? Dude, the walk away. Yeah. Their souls will haunt you this is very gruesome. Yeah. You shall have no peace. Hear me, snake. My spirit will be watching you. Whoa! <laughs> completely gone. gone. Yeah. I hope we see a raven with like his tattoo somehow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just a guy tattoo? Uh, is it a group of maybe it's a group of ravens called a murder? Snake. Yeah. It's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Oh. No. Is Naomi there? Yes. No, she's oh, away. Let, we gotta call Take her a short nap. out on her mm. on her uh, BS so is because something's... Okay. Maybe we'd better let the colonel hear this too. Yeah. Go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. Okay. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Oh, come on! <laughs> Please! Some kind now? Of vital secret oh, or something? gosh. Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief yep. and the arms tech Let's president? go. I, I have no idea. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. What? What we does she have that we need? She is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Ah, <sighs> oh, dude. I don't know, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. You missed up. Um, sorry, uh, go ahead. I'm going to look for yeah, items sure, in sure, the room. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, clutch, clutch. Ice cold rations. Yeah, 
Um, Kojiro, can I offer an alternative method for raving? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. let me know. Would love to hear it. I don't remember you. all the methods. Maybe I didn't know them all, but... Yeah, thanks for asking work. and thanks for waiting. Um, Genuinely appreciate it. Really, yeah, thank you. We defeated Mr. Freeze. Yeah, ice to meet you. <laughs> Snake, you better <laughs> grab a bite. Oh, God, can you imagine? <laughs> yes, your spirit will be with me, Raven. Um, it's cool in this game that after defeating some of the bosses, he has good conversations with them after. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think every, at least every boss so far has had some sort of meaning... And Snake had a meaningful interaction. Yeah. And it wasn't like... The respect. It wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't like, yeah, I bested you. It was yeah. more like, I I see... I understand you. Yeah. And it's like, almost like, uh, I'm sorry it had to be this way. Yeah. That we just happen to be adversaries in this particular conflict. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait to see Smug... Smug, uh, you know... There's the frozen look rush. Looking down on you, Snake. Melt it before you eat. Gotcha. Oh, you can hurt Raven more by placing landmines. Gotcha. Oh, That's why it gave us a whole bunch before this, huh? That makes huh? sense. Um, Emberlon asked, if you shot yourself with a middle, uh, missile, would it thaw the ration? <laughs> I'm not going to test that <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Impersonate the chief. Solve riddles? Yeah. I Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, for, I totally forgot about Decoy Octopus, and they mentioned, um, they mentioned them in passing. I think when we were getting tortured, like, oh, something yes. something happened to Decoy Octopus, so we don't know. And I was like, oh, we're never going to get to see Decoy Octopus. And now you know. Lo and behold, we he was, or they were the first one that we saw. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know. I love Exciting. It. I love it. I forgot that that was where you were going to learn that fact. Yeah. Oh, Crows Sorry, was the murder. Ravens are, cons right. are conspiracy or unkindness is what their group is called. Thank you, Jason Bourne. <laughs> Look at those cameras. <laughs> and Nathan is here, Nathan. Hey, Nathan, Hello. how you been? How are you doing, Nathan? Happy New Year to you, Nathan. It, hit, it hits the feels, yeah, Jason Bourne. Yeah, I, um... I really oh. like... Oh! I really liked, um... Sniper Wolf's... Death? Oh, fudge. Monologue? Wow, that's intimidating. Ow! Um, and I think maybe because I'm also a sucker for the uh, the animal component. Yeah. Like all the dogs that and always wolves. Gets you. Yeah, howling for for her. I'm sad. Um, happy New Year to you guys. Didn't think they would remember me. Of course, oh, Nate. Of course. I think I feel like. We kind of remember every, like, at least we try to remember we everyone's try our best. voice yeah. um, when they come through. And it's like, uh, yeah, like, you know, any uh, games that <laughs> in particular that I mean, you guys remember know. us. We appreciate that. Oh, so yeah. we're trying to return we the favor. Look at this camera angle. Yeah. Someone designed that room and was like, we need 50 machine gun cameras. Yeah. <laughs> They'll never get past Look these. Uh, so cinematic. Oh, we're here. Use use the use the missile. Maybe that's probably not enough. Yes, yeah, Cyber Wolf Wolf's death scene was heavy. Yes, I certainly. Think topping it off with like with the I guess mercy killing would you call it? Yeah. Was pretty intense. Yeah. But there there was like a like a weird, not weird, but there was like a sense of understanding and respect there. Certainly, certainly. Like on another level, pretty heavy. Soldiers, mercenaries, and I'm a sucker for a romance oh. subplot with Autocon and and the music exactly. Snake, it's me. What's and wrong? the music, yeah. Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. Yeah, I wish it I had like one. You finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards. Nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've nope. only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. 
Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. I'm somewhat of a hacker myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would love if, like, a modern Otacon would end some of his sentences with, with like, Date Bio or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you know>? dude. <laughs> <laughs> a bit or if he just, like, in, in shock goes, like, Nani? Nani? And Nick is like, what? And he was like... Dude, probably in the Japanese versions, yeah. Yeah, oh, well, of course the Japanese versions. <laughs> I mean, to, to kind of lay into his... Um, Otaku kind of, background? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of weebiness. He was a pretty careful guy. <laughs> Rather believe it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. <laughs> I bet my life he will have a line like snake. I'm in. <laughs> yes, or, or, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan, you're calling it. Let's see if that comes true. Oh my I see God. this ladder. I'm just looking around. Just exploring, getting a lay of the land. A lot of chaff grenades. <laughs> I like in our minds. In our in our minds, we're making out Otacon to be like the co like comedic relief. But he's not. There's, he's not really that kind of character. But somehow in he's, our he's kind of an emotional anchor in some of these scenes. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, there's no there's no real like moments of levity. Except actually no, actually no. There's that's not true. Snake has a couple you know funny quips here and there. I guess. Nope. Yeah, isn't Naruto from 2000? I yeah, think it's so. Much you're like, right. I'm, I'm thinking I'm uh, making a. A Nothing fanfic security. of Autocon in my head. <laughs> Great. So what do you got? Oh, he didn't I say it. The confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. Naomi what? Hunter. The secret behind oh, the nope. new nuclear weapon. Oh, yes. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. This is important. It doesn't use fuel. So it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> it's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. This Why weren't is they so able to cool. one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear war. How terrifying is that? Doesn't run on any propellant. Intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Terrifying. We learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. I feel like I'm learning. Ultimate is this, is this re some from a political point of actual view, history? <laughs> the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Maybe not. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the Star 3 treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could Cue Naomi Hunter. Down. Did you know this, Colonel? Come on. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. You changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. Oh, okay. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. What? Do you still have Sketch. it? Sketch. No. Yep. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. 
Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Dude. So what? I think one one element of that that you're probably missing is what a railgun is. Yes. A, a lot of this is like science fact. Okay. A railgun is a type of gun that has magnets lined up uh, in a way to propel metallic objects. Gotcha. So that's what they meant about launching a nuclear missile that has no propellant. Right. To be detected. Right. Magnets. Because it just used magnets. Freaking How do they awesome. work? Yeah, yeah. I, thought you were good. <laughs> I was thinking it. I didn't yeah. say it, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's that is really. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that is really interesting. Um. Stealth um, walking tank nuke invisible remind nuke me launcher. Our commander, who's not really a commander. Roy Campbell, yeah. Roy Campbell. He's like our handler in this situation. He's our handler. He doesn't work for the government anymore. Is that what it is? He, or they wanted Snake. The government wanted Snake. Yeah. But they knew the only way to get Snake is to get Campbell. So Campbell's like a consultant, I think. I don't know officially. Okay. It's just so it just feels like just the way he reacts to things. He's trying to get, he's probably trying to erase any, like, U.S. involvement in this stuff. That's the thing. They said before that if you get caught, we're going to denounce, you know, you're not involved. Off the books. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why we're black ops or yeah, Exactly, or yeah. Like. But, but there's also an element of, like, Campbell saying, like, they don't tell me everything. I'm just here for you. But it's starting to seem like Campbell actually knows more than... Yeah. Well, I mean, he just the we way thought. he was like, "Oh, can we get, can we get that CD?" Or like, "You have a yeah. CD?" It was like, "Oh, damn." So yeah, I'm, I'm wondering why he wants it. I guess. Yeah. So why is he so eager to get it? Does he is he does he have his own agenda here? Does he want to? We try kind of talked about that last time. Like everyone seems to have their own agenda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. So I I'm like curious. Like, is he trying to like get back in good favor with the sure. U.S. Oh. government? Is he going to threaten the U.S. government somehow? Um, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah, well, that guy's just knocked out. Yeah, Nathan. I think it would be more than just nasty, but okay. Yeah. yeah. Snake, did you find it? No, I haven't found out about the override system yet. But I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Just looking around. Just looking around. I know where we're supposed to go. Oh, hey, Zoller. Hello. Hey, it's been Zoller. a while that it has. Hope How are you doing? doing? Well. Yeah, I hope you're doing well, too. Thanks for being here. There we go. Oh, what? Oh, this is a cutscene? Yeah. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lochnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. Oh. Nuclear test site? <gasps> if we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top-secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. 
And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. Playing chess here. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India, I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Mm. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Vaccine. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Arms Tech president. Wait. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. <gasps> Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox die was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bug shit. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? Spetsnaz. He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Golukovich. It's a fun name to say. He's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What do you say? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system Wait, works? do they see you Snake? interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Okay, that was confirmation. I have questions. Snake, yep. I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the president was talking about. It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah, you better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. Oh. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. 
It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Hmm? Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Mm -hmm. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. See you later, Jason Bourne. Right Thanks for coming to hang out. <gasps> Thanks for hanging out, okay, Jason Bourne. We'll I catch you later. It. First, I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. Happy New Year After to you, you too. Key into the module, and hey, Cordy. Hey, Cordy. The information contained on it. Once you finished, we'll catch up after this, guys. The code input process is complete. But here's the thing: you can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. They're literally watching him, right? Oh no, no, they just noticed. Oh no. Damn, what a shot. This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Should have hid in a cardboard box. <laughs> All right, I'll get the key. You tell us what you're thinking. Let's uh, catch up. We wait, can catch up with chat. There was a lot there. Go ahead. Um, let me catch up with chat. And yeah, 2022 is looking up. How have you two been? We've been well, Zoller. Thanks for asking. Um, yeah, 2022 for us so far. Um, not bad. More of the same, but that's not that's not a bad thing. Nope. Um, I've never looked up, but I wonder if this is science fact. It sounds the shape memory alloy. Insane. Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, maybe. Um, and yes, more Metal Gear Solid. And Audrey's feeling better, I hope. Yes, I am, Crudy. Thank you for, for uh, checking. yeah, following up. And feeling better. You guys chasing me. Uh, and Gerald, the pizza thrower, is here, Gerald. Hey, Gerald. We had pizza. We had pizza today. today. Earlier today, yeah. Was that from you, Gerald? Yeah. Did you send us that pizza? Gerald definitely threw us the pepperoni sausage pizza. Yep. The classic. And mushroom. Awesome. We had mushroom in it. Right? No. Didn't oh, we couldn't add the mushrooms. No, we didn't add the mushrooms. Um, so, so instead of aiming this nuclear missile directly to Russia, they want to hit the nuclear site. Instead of like a city center, they want to yeah. hit a nuclear testing site in China. Because they want to spark a conversation about these nuclear weapons between the U.S. and China. Yeah, force them to have to talk about it. They're like, oh, yeah, we and, have and this And give thing. them an opportunity to still hide it from the public. Because right. if you nuke a city, the public's going to know. Everyone's going to know. And then once once they start talking, then China's going to tell everybody, and everyone's going to know about this nuclear weapon, yeah. and then everyone's going to want to buy, to buy one. Yeah. And that's when they force their hand. They, they make... The president agree to their, their demands, uh, demands, which is a billion dollars. Oh, we got the palkey and big boss. We got the palkey. Um, I just want to see if there's other items. So I can't find anything specifically about cards, but shape memory alloy is definitely a real thing. Wild. Pretty cool. Whoa! So like when you put it in a certain temperature, then it it, it shapes itself to a specific shape. Yeah, we already know those that. Uh, bomb. We already know. We already know that oh. being like a real thing. Things at different temperatures expand or contract, right? Yeah, but, but like, a, a, I wonder how dramatic the shape gets. Yeah, that's Oh, the, your rations are still frozen, you know? Yeah. We gotta be careful then. And Gerald did throw that pizza, yes. Uh, We just picked up a bomb with five seconds remaining. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, what? oh yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um... Okay, um, let's hear your thoughts. There's something else. Keep going. I, gosh, what, what else? And then, um... Uh, we know that 
Ocelot's motivations is to help Mother Russia gain its yeah. standing on the world stage, yeah. right? That's his motivation. Um, and he's working with a colonel named Gerlukovich. However, yeah. Liquid is kind of just using them, just wants to use them. He has no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. Mm-hmm. He's just using them because their forces, allying with their 1,000 soldiers, Gerlukovich's oh. soldiers, might increase the um, mm-hmm. morale of the genome soldiers. Right, and Solar with the host. Thank you so much, Solar. Because he said that now that Psychomantis is dead, they don't have the brainwashing. So they, they use Psychomantis to also have an extra level of control over the soldiers. Mm-hmm. Oh, Fox die. Have we heard that? We so have not heard that. Okay, so Fox die. Some seemed- kind of vaccine. Oh. Oh, oh, wait, wait. They, wait, wanted, so, they wanted wait, to man some Fox kind of die vaccine. Fox is the name of the vaccine, or there's a vaccine for Fox die? They, they said the Fox die vaccine. <gasps> and Gerald, with, Gerald the with the host. Thank you. Yeah, so... so, so what does that mean exactly? We keep having these things where we're eavesdropping on their conversations and we don't know what they're talking well, about. Well, that must mean that Fox Die is the thing they're trying to stop. Stop. Yeah. And we don't know what it is. We they were saying the Fox Die is what um, caused Baker and Anderson to mm-hmm. die. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh, it affects older people. And they were like, well, it didn't affect Psycho Mantis because he had the mask. mask and and the Sniper Wolf because of the tranquilizers. Cyber Wolf had the tranquilizers, so Fox dies. And and they were saying it reacts to maybe adrenaline. So, like, maybe, I don't know. Raptor with the first, thank you. Oh, and Raptor with the first, yes. And Sailor Jimmy is here. I have all these weenie points from the last <laughs> rumble. I have no idea what to spend them on. Yeah, we need, to, we need to think of more channel point ideas, but, you know, save them, Sailor Jimmy. And uh, next Rini rumble, maybe you'll... Uh, You'll bet on the winning team again. Check out the pal (laughs) card. Oh, wait, 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 go back. What? What is it? I'm looking at the shape. What am I supposed to look at? Is it it changing shape? Just remember what it looks like. You're just waving it in the air? No, I'm not even holding it out. That's just the grenades. Oh, okay. But I am checking on it. Um... I gotta get my booster vaccine this month. Maybe I should ask for Fox Die. Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine if the like the person administering the vaccine was like, ah, yes, Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> Sailor Jimmy, I'm betting 80k on you, Anthony. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a lot. It's a lot of k's. I see. I see where Sailor Jimmy's alliance stands. Um, Blossom says shape memory alloy for robotic hands, Ooh. for dental braces, for glasses so they're harder to break. So a lot of it isn't as sexy as an ID card, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah. Apparently there's something about heating slash cooling from a 2019 research paper that could reduce global warming. Very interesting. Dude. Someone let me know if I'm doing this wrong, but I think I'm doing it right. Okay. That is really interesting. Um, there was something else. There was something else. Um, they want the remains. They want a billion dollars. The billion dollars is also to develop a cure for the genome soldiers. They said something about that. Do you recall that? Yeah, I thought that was relate. Was that related to the fox eye vaccine? I do too? not recall. I'm just trying to remember what they said. Yeah, I. I about that but I feel like I don't know it's definitely got to be that thing that uh, Dr. Hunter has been I'm worried I shouldn't be equipping it shooting everyone up with what else what else is going on Meryl's alive Meryl's alive um what was that what was with Outer Heaven again is, was that just the name of... It's the name of what Big Boss wanted to create. I'm trying to remember from the uh, mission logs of Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2. I don't want to say too much in case I'm pulling stuff that I shouldn't be. If anyone can have a... It's it's just his dream of a safe haven for soldiers. That oh, are not, yeah, okay. is not tied to any nation. And that, the and, whims of any nation. And Liquid Snake just wants to make Big Boss's dream come true. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the first we've heard of it. Reference to it. Oh, and Big Boss is our father, right? 
Um, oh, no, no, that's There Gray are Fox. claims of that. Wait, Gray, that's Gray Fox. No, no, no. Wait. Who, who is our father again? I don't know if we know explicitly right now, but we've heard people claim things no, and say things. No, someone said at the end of Metal Gear 2, someone was like, we found out that blank was our Yeah, but father. that came up in this game as well. Oh, and then right, right, right. Snake kind of dismissed it saying, that's what I'm told. But but who was that? Big Boss? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Big oh, Boss. Okay. But I don't, I don't remember who said it. Someone tell me. Well, I mean, that's what I'm doing running this with. wrong. At least equipping rations might thaw them. Right. Um, I'm going to look at the guide. Try not to scroll too much. I know it's supposed to be in here. But whether or not I'm doing it right is what I'm wondering. I mean, I read the guide earlier. Oh. Just wondering if anyone in chat knows. Did you already put the... No! I'm freaking dumb. You're right. Okay. That's why. Okay. Damn it. Thank you. Okay. We didn't use it. We have to use it once first. Yeah, they said... Uh, time. My bad. Sorry, Left to right. Yeah. My bad, y'all. Tried looking it up and not sure if you're supposed to have a PAL card equipped or not. Yeah, I think um, it doesn't uh, It doesn't let you... It won't change until uh, you, use it. you use it once. All right, so in terms of what we're doing with the card, what is your understanding after hearing that conversation? Sounds like a you So... Resub. Eight months. Thank you so much, Captain <gasps> eight Cadaver. Eight months. No, that can't be. It is. It be that way. Cadaver. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Eight months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Otacon looked it up, and the way the override system works is the PAL cards and the uh, code. Um, they're used once, and they do the opposite. Or, or rather, they just either... If it's active, it deactivates. Yeah. And if it's deactivated, it's activated. Right. So they've entered the codes. Mm -hmm. And so we're entering the PAL codes to deactivate it. They're ready to launch. Ready they to launch. They want to freaking... It's so clever to just launch it to a nuclear test site. So that the public's like, oh, yeah, a nuke went off at a nuclear test site? That's That's normal. Yeah. This is like a big. That's a big brain move. Big brain. Trying to think of how the world, like the related parties, will react to that. Yeah, play chess. Yeah, four D, four D chess. <laughs> but never freeze your credit cards before using them, kids. Unless you don't want to use them, then yes, stick them in the freezer. In a block of ice. Yeah. Chaff real quick. Checking for items. Ration, of course. Okay. Okay. My bad. I wasted a couple minutes. Um, anyone hyped for March 25th, by the way? Kirby is looking good. I watched good. that new trailer. It's a short trailer. I have not seen the trailer either. He's very cute. Blossom post it. Check it out later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the post. I haven't watched it yet. Awaiting pal code number two. Okay. That takes care of pal code number one. So it's going to be the, the now, pal refrigerated two, room that you were just in. Key. And then the lava room, probably. Yeah. February is where magic will happen, Crudy oh. says. What are we excited for in February? Is that Elden Ring? Elden Ring. And is there something else? There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Gerald, thank you so much for being here. Hope you have a great night's rest. And Good thanks night, for Gerald. throwing that pizza. Dude. Dude. What, was that noise? what was that noise? Oh my god, I wasted a bunch of bullets. Archong, thank oh you so much God, for dude. being here also. And hope you have a great night. We'll catch you later. Later, Archong. Have a good night. Oh my God, just go. 
I like how as soon as we leave this room, they're like, ah. It's yeah, yeah. He's already gone. Video games. Yeah. Not even the room. As soon as we like cross over <laughs> to the other side. Bye, Archong. So going to the cold room. A little bit of backtracking. A little bit of backtracking. Yeah, Blossom. February is kind of stacked. Elden Ring, Horizon, Forbidden West. Yeah. King of Fighters 15. Dying Light 2? Yeah, I never, that's right. I never knew Dying Light 2 had a uh, release date. It kept getting delayed over yeah, and over. Yeah, that's all I remember about it. <laughs> For like two years now, I feel like. Oh. We'll grab that ration later. I can't even use them. Never mind. Okay, I should stop getting shot then. <laughs> Here we go. Do I equip it? I don't know. Hey. Any other thoughts? Loose ends? Predictions? I'm wondering if what was what was the reason for the whole Donald Anderson um, decoy octopus thing. I think that whole there's still yeah some mystery there for you. There's a little bit, but I just wonder if the, that whole thing was just to show us that there was something about the blood specifically mm. that for that methods? triggers that heart attack. Oh, uh, well, I mean, Response. remember when you we found the decomposing body? Mm -hmm. Like, hey, there's a weird thing. It's like the blood's all Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I'm yeah. just saying, like, I wonder why. Is, is Was that there the only... There we go. Check it out. Nice. Cool. Was that the only reason for um, that whole kind of line of mysteries? Just to show that there's something specifically about the blood that is affecting people? Don't want to get hurt. Or is there more to uh, is there more to it? I don't know. I appreciate that you're asking these questions. It's fun hearing you ask yeah, them. Yeah, think realistic. Raptor says. <laughs> when it comes to Metal Gear, don't help her too much, Raptor. Realistic. She'll figure it out. <laughs> or she won't, and the game will just tell us. Think realistic. Think realistic. With all your food. We will. Think realistic? Are you timed? Well, is there another way to thaw the food, Raptor, other than what I'm thinking? I'm are we just going to go to that hot room? It. Yeah. I mean, we're going to have to go to the hot room anyways. I'm wondering, is there another way to thaw the rations? Mm. Yeah, it's, there's going to be more backtracking for sure. That's just how it is. Mm. You're not timed right now, right? With no. the card? Okay. the next card now. Oh, you mean like it changing back? Yeah. Because I, I would think if it's like a, tem a temperature sensitive sure. thing, you would need to like, I don't know, insulate it somehow. But uh, that's fine. I think we're okay. One more. Palco number two 
If you put the card in without getting the pro uh, appropriate shape, will it allow you to do that or no? Oh, it won't. Okay. Like I press a button, it, then it triggers the cutscene. I think it just wouldn't. Okay, okay. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. Warm the key? This is actually some of the better backtracking in a game because of the tension of inserting sure, yeah. the keys. Does anyone know of it a way to thaw the rations other than go to the room that we're going to? Hmm. What if you just equip the rations and just mash on A or mash on the use button? No. <laughs> no. Kojiro doesn't know. That's all right. That's all right. I mean, if we're going to go to the... Uh, the hot room anyway. Find a microwave, yeah, Blossom. Yeah, where's the where's the soldier break room? <laughs> That's realistic. You can't set a campfire in this game? Nope. Not that I know of. So who are you suspicious of? Who who seems to potentially have sketchy motives here? Um it seems like no two characters are exactly on the same page. Um, everyone seems a little bit Big one is Naomi right now. Yeah, we haven't heard from her in a while though. Yeah. Campbell is like started off as buds. We even called each other friends. Yeah. Now it's like, what? I mean, if it's eroding I just the feel trust. Like when you withhold information like that, yeah. there's probably, you're probably doing it for a reason. Okay, okay, I see that. So, I mean. In, in a life or death situation or mission like this, I would not want information withheld from me certainly wasn't it body heat no it's the hot room oh now there's enemies oh just cut straight through though you can't have blossom hey my name is snake i promise i will not shoot you to death if you give me directions to your lounge <laughs> I'm sure Otacon would know where the lounge is. Uh, I, w I wonder. Or maybe the soldiers had a different lounge, you know? Versus, like, the engineers. True. You had to find that ketchup somewhere. You're right. It could be his <laughs> personal bottle of ketchup. He keeps at his desk, right? Right. People, people keep stealing the ketchup. any of you guys work in an office environment where like i mean pre-covid days where there was actual like food theft you always hear about that right yes it happened to me snake oh. it's about naomi oh here we go you should talk to the colonel he's looking into it turn your monitor off okay it's off no one else can hear us go ahead sorry but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay. I kind of so find this guy a little bit sketchy I've got too. A good friend in the Pentagon. I don't know. Yeah. He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination Fox die. weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake. Have you ever heard of something called Fox die? No. Fox die. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, 
Apparently, fox dye kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi oh, use oh some God. kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. <laughs> I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't uh, it? I don't know. Naomi. I, can't I won't believe it, it till I that till I see it. The fox dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the colonel. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. It helps you, but then it also hurts you. What do you mean? The the shot, right? Didn't you say it's supposed it like improved your blah blah blah? Yeah, there's I mean, nano machines and like uh, whatever cocktail of stuff to help regulate your body temperature yeah, and all that. Yeah. Dude. Everyone is sus in M MGS, yes. Absolutely. Raptor. Uh, work fridges are the worst. Yeah, Blossom. That they are. Uh, interrogation, like, Ocelot does it. I mean, he said they're trying to avoid the rough stuff, but, you know. Oh. Sodium pentothal. What kind of, uh, is I that some sort know. of, like, truth serum, maybe? Oh, maybe, maybe. Metal Gear sus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, it makes you kind of want to go back to that opening cutscene where they, where she, um, or the briefing cutscenes where she gives you the shot to see exactly what she says, right? Yeah, I, I just vaguely remember that they kind of gloss over. It. It's like, here, take this shot. Oh yeah, it's gonna make you, it's gonna make you a little stronger. You're gonna feel a little bit more. It allows like, them to monitor your vitals. And yeah, all that too. things like that. And we, we were just like, okay. I'm sure he gets it all the time for missions, crazy missions like this, like this, you know. Maybe, but. But she was pretty transparent about it being nano machines. Mm -hmm. um, Captain America, that's nano machines. <laughs> was there an enemy here? I'm trying to remember. Uh. Hot room. Maybe you should equip those rations. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean? To melt them? To melt them, right? I didn't have to equip them previously. Oh, you didn't? Oh, okay. No. Oh, it's back to room temp. Oh. Yeah, Crudy, you're right. It's stuff to help regulate his body temperature in the cold mm, environment. Right, the right. sub-zero temperatures of the water. Rations. Anyone know how to deal with these rations? Honestly, thought it was just hang out in here. The keys were just hang out in the space. Yeah. Right? Okay. Mojito says, I've been playing ba Batman Arkham City nice. this week. I keep thinking, just throw some freeze grenades. <laughs> That'd be nice. That would be nice. We only got chaff grenades. I'm trying to equip it. Like equip it and and then leave it, right? Oh, yes, there you go. Nice, thank you. Oh, oh, maybe they all just happen to do their thing at the same time. Maybe. Palky's ready. Okay, so there is a tiny bit of fear. I doubt there's an issue. There's a tiny bit of fear that it'll change as we're walking through the cold area. But we just won't dilly dally. Otherwise, is there another way back? Way back? 
Is there Change another of way back? Shortcut back? There is? No, not that oh. I know of. Oh, then... Should be fine, right? I think so, too, but there's a non-zero percent fear that we're going to mess something up somehow. You'd have to go fairly slow for it to change back, I okay, think. Okay, awesome okay, that's stars. what I was thinking. Cool, cool. Kojiro, I've only ever played Arkham Asylum, and I do have an intention in my heart to play the rest one day, especially with the new um, Arkham Knights game coming out. Raffler would pay to ride such an elevator. <laughs> Dude. It just looks like some sort of like cargo. Yeah. Uh, uh, elevator. Platform, yeah. But it, but yeah, there's like that uh, kind of diagonal. It's cool. Oh yeah, definitely. Raffler would also pay actors to jump in and like surround, surround them. Got you now, Raptor. Card games on elevators? <laughs> Card games on elevators? Just giving you guys a heads up right now. We're probably going to stay up a little bit late. Oh, yeah? Right, Audrey? Maybe. Snake, can you hear uh -oh. me? Uh-oh. It's Naomi. Naomi. She's going to be good. Hello. Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. Oh. I bought all my identification, but my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from, my, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. Hey, Ash, what's up? Hey, Ash. I was Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. Found. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Big boss. Your big brother. Yes. Who's him? Him is always Frank big boss. Yeager. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. Frank Yeager, remember the name? Picked me that gray fox? Yeah. River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yep. Yes. Big Boss he finds us all to these people. Land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you, and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. 
Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. Nice. So that ninja, I mean Gray Fox, he's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox, no. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Die? Fox Die is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox Die contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. It targets the program to respond to specific genetic the big boss patterns gene. in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages. They begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. Heart attack? And then they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, mm. but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. Hi, Super PG Bob. I'm not the one hey. who made the decision to use Fox Die. Whoa. Uh, Hold on. You weren't. No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. Oof. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> ah! Snake! <gasps> Naomi! Snake! I can't allow Naomi to make any more Campbell. transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? <sighs> So she said that <clears throat> I wasn't the one who decided to use Fox Die on you. Yeah. It's part of the mission. Throwing more chaos into there. Um, Feel free to catch up, Audrey. I just want to sure. get this pal card. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey, Kessler. We're going to hey. America just like Eddie Murphy movie. Yeah, all the characters end up in America thanks to... Our dear big boss. Yep. Um, but why did she flirt with him? Is that where she was going with that statement, you think? <laughs> Snake, I... I... Dot, dot, dot. Spies, dude. Gotta Spies be. and flirting. Um, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Retro virus, but we're playing a retro game for all retro gamers. That's right. <laughs> and yeah, Super PG Mom, thanks for, thanks for being here and totally understand. Um, yeah, don't... You don't... Don't overload your computer. Yeah. Hope you have. Um, hope you're enjoying your game. We appreciate you checking in. Yeah. This has more twists and turns than a Mario Kart track. <laughs> yeah, more than Rainbow Road. Yeah, Juby, I love how Naomi is using a bunch of science jargon, and uh, Snake is just like, huh? huh? Yeah. yeah. I, I pretty much after every time, she just like spits like a whole like sentence about what's going on. Doesn't that feel super anime though? Someone says something, something, something. Virus. Yeah. yeah. And the like, other character just says. Virus. I'm surprised he hasn't said, you know, like in English, you know, that kind of like. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> um, the spy who loved me, eh? The spy who loved me indeed. Love can even bloom on the battlefield. Yeah. Dude. Only in Metal Gear. Yeah, more twists and turns than a Mario Kart map. What an absolute delight. <laughs> Otacon brought that up first, right? Asking Snake, do you believe love can bloom on the battlefield? And Snake says anywhere, right? Anywhere, yeah. The spies get all the ladies. 
They do, don't they? Whatever ammo I can find. Um. But yeah, I feel like most. She didn't explicitly say it, but I feel like most definitely Fox Die was uh, programmed to target anyone with the uh, enhanced. All right. Big boss gene. Why are you pausing? Quick restroom break. Is that oh. okay? <gasps> restroom break. Yep. Yeah, before we enter the last pal code. Oh, that. I think it's properly paused, so we don't have to worry about it changing. Okay. Temperature. Oh, right, okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be right back. Okay, be right back. And we're back. We're back. Let's put in the uh, third pal card. Let's do it. Just going to run in. Just going to run in. Oh, okay. it didn't even trigger the uh, turret? No. Okay. Yeah, we got all three. So this should theoretically deactivate, deactivate yeah. Metal Gear. So we won. We did it. We did it. Activated. Oh, so they never activated it. They got us. They got us. I deactivated it. No, it wasn't even. It was never activated. You fool. Thank you. Sir. I knew it, this motherfucker. I knew it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to curse. I just got excited. Yes. What's going you on? never called it though. Well, I just, I just, I know, I never called it. <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't actually, I didn't actually call anything. I did think he was scre uh, uh, sketchy at one point. Silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? Sorry, I did not mean to get that excited about about this. Even with Mantis psychic powers, he Here. couldn't read his mind. <laughs> talking about the DARPA chief. Right. Accidentally killed him during the interrogation. Oh. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by Wait. yourself, did you? Was it Deep Throat, what too? Are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Wait, is this liquid? Ace in the hole is useless now. Or is, is this actually... The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful. No. In the torture room. <laughs> Snake, what? you're the only one who doesn't know. I, I also don't know. Oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close. By. He, he's liquid. Snake, that's not Master Miller. No. Jim, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. Oh my He's god. Been dead for at least three days. Hello, brother. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. Oh my god, he's deep throat also. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to me, dear. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let your so hair down. Good, yeah. dude. Okay, okay. Liquid. <laughs> yes. Dude, the voice actor is so you good. May die now. You may die now. <laughs> so good. God. I thought you had it. I thought you got it 100% when you were when when it was first when he first showed up. Oh, really? When you were like this mother. What do you mean? Oh, I that thought that you had it. That thing? it was liquid. You just in that moment you just thought, oh, he's a bad guy. Well, right? I mean, I mean, I I just it was my reaction, and then when you like sit and think about it, you're like, oh, wait, this has got to be. Someone on the inside, mm -hmm. and then you realize there's only one other kind of blonde-looking guy. Mm. Oh, I don't know why I see blonde. I don't know if that's the light-colored hair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Um, yeah, this game is wild. You <laughs> I think we just wait here. <laughs> oh, Super PG Mom never thought I'd hear Audrey curse. Sheesh, that was powerful. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's I, rare, <laughs> but it's awesome. <laughs> I try my best not to. Um, We've, we, we curse less now in real life ever since yeah. we started streaming. It's something that I, I've actually wanted to work on for sure, a while. I just same. don't want to curse as much. It's just a um, choice. No judgment. Yeah, no, no, absolutely no judgment. I just, yeah. Personal choice. For sure, for sure. And yeah, Solid Snake is here. Hi, every... Oh, my. Yeah, you came at a, at a good wait, time. Wait, I legit think I, I wait. Oh, okay. Um, but, or did we call someone? Crudy call? was behind all of this because I am Big Boss Crudy. Snake, gas. Do something. Gas? Snake, Paul Emmerich. He should uh, be able okay. to through security. Yeah, <laughs> thick brained. Oh no! He's hot! <laughs> <laughs> Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You no, deep break it with an ordinary weapon. What's up with deep throat? Open the security lock here. Still questions. I love it. Just hold on for a minute. Okay. Now Cam we call Clark Otacon. Is a god. The yeah, the voice actor for Oh, him. okay, okay. Liquid. Yeah, I thought I thought that's what he was getting at too, that I somehow guessed that. Master Miller was Liquid Snake from the from the start, but no, 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 definitely not. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. I had to actively deflect your suspicion in a non-suspicious way throughout this whole playthrough. About too. what? Just anytime you said, "Oh, this person's suspicious. Why are they just?" Oh. <gasps> that is so horror game esque. It was cute. Right? Yeah. Certainly. Let your cute. emotions out. I don't mind. Critty says, "Oh, will do." So it's just. Sometimes it feels appropriate. And yeah, Super Fuji Mom, no judgment here. Uh, that was awesome. Oh, I'm glad all of you are understanding of our emotions. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so I'll say, I can make a dirty deep throw joke, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, Appreciate from the it. start, I was like, wait. Too easy. I mean, when they say the name deep throw, but then they explain the the The, the connection to the real connection. life history. Yeah, but then at the same time, yes, of course. It's um, it's kind of an easy... Uh, it's easy An one. easy joke to make. Low hanging fruit. Ready <laughs> Let's for just say we're all thinking it already, Solid Snake. I mean, Solid Snake, come on. That name in itself? I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I can't imagine a clean deep throat. <laughs> Snake. Did you like my sunglasses? Oh. Where did his shirt go? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn. He's snake. asking questions. What? That's not fair. Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages. It was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. Needed? That's what? what killed the arms tech president and decoy <gasps> octopus. Oh, he's he's no. triggering everybody? That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged. Ooh. Along with the bodies of the uh, uh, oh, 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 I see, I see. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox. Oh, wait, it is? Fox die. It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was. But it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program. Oh! But no one knows how. He? Is this, who's the spy? Deep Throw? I do not I know. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. She changed but it. I had no idea she was motivated by such a We don't know how, right? We still don't know what okay. changes yeah. she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine. There must be. But that woman is the only one who... She's her. totally dead by the end of this game. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us. So we must have all been exposed to the virus. Oh, so he literally is spread true, spreading the, the virus. The president and decoy octopus were killed by That's when Omi was saying like But Ocelot myself they did it. and you the carrier were apparently unaffected. Ocelot the virus is programming. Ocelot you and me. Why? What what, what what connects them? If it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic yeah. code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. 
But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Big boss? Les enfants. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. <gasps> oh. I got the flawed recessive gene. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest. Of That's why he's children. blonde. <laughs> oh, I mean, because like yeah, the I hair know. color is so a recessive trait, right? You. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But Wait, then they're not genetically the same, I'm right? The one father Science chose. fiction. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Aww. Love? It's hate! Daddy issues. He always told me I was inferior. And now I'll have my revenge! Oh, this was a... You should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands. You stole my chance for revenge. Oh, this was all about now family this whole time. The father began. I will surpass him. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Yeah. Snake, your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Here we go. Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother. Now I'll show you. The power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. It's moving. Metal Gear. How do I stop it? Wait, what? Um, he was saying something about how... Did they manipulate the genes somehow so like one got all the dominant traits one got all the recessive traits or, or is he just saying that's the way you know nature happened they manipulated it okay he, he yes more crisper stuff yeah but why would they do that to create the ultimate soldier i mean if you understand too much about the actual Don't science. read into it. Exactly, yeah. It's yeah. cool. I it's love cool. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Suspend your disbelief. Basically, um, he, he feels that he's always been uh, inferior to Snake. Exactly. And um, in and the eyes of his... that to not be the case. In the eyes of their father, he was always looked at as like the weaker one and he's trying to prove himself. Yeah. This is all just to prove himself. He doesn't give any Fs about, you know, whatever... Yeah. Money or power or anything really is just his uh, his ego. Dude. <laughs> yeah, who needs a shirt when you're hot? Blossom says about a uh, liquid. I gotta snake. watch my health. Um, yeah, the <laughs> another half naked guy in Alaska. Yeah, this guy. Ooh, dude, that thing hits hard. You're literally fighting against a nuclear weapon. I mean, they're not nuclear missiles, but... <gasps> oh my goodness. Should I just keep the rations out? I don't think um, the body yeah. armor helps with the... Plot twists, yes. Yeah, Jupy, I love all the angles they're giving us of this dude, yes. <laughs> this game is all about um, very particular I camera like angles. I'm doing this wrong. You're, he's, he's almost down. He's fine without one. Thick brained. <laughs> oh! I'm guessing there's another phase to this. That seemed a little easy. It's just the radar dish on the right side. Oh, w. was that a foxhound tattoo on the arm? I'm just uh, on a, on a Lucas snake. We'll have to look at it again. Sorry, I got my hand in chat. Uh, does, he doesn't look like garbage. Uh, he looks like a model. Nice try, nice try, snake. You hope you're watching. Yep. Oh, let's go, Gray Fox. Oh, he's a he's a, he he's he's clear-minded. Oh, he was deep thrown. Yes, that's so cool. The mask opened. The voice totally threw me off. I was totally off. Mega Man arm, dude. Yes. 
blue. We were trying to break that satellite. <gasps> Why? What do you want from me? Or radar dish. No, I can't take this. I was young then and couldn't bring myself to kill her too. I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. Oh my I goodness. Her like she was my own blood to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now she thinks of me as her brother. But oh my on god. The outside, we might have seemed like a happy brother and sister, but every time I looked at her I saw her parents' eyes staring back at me. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are. So you can't see now without the radar dish. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving. Box. No. What a tragic character. Oh, the arm! Is that some sort of reference to Ocelot losing his arm, maybe? We don't hunt foxes. We hunt jackals. Instead of fox sounds, we use royal harriers. Fox. How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die? <gasps> Watch me press it. Bar. Listen. He says no, I can't do it. Yeah. When I try. It won't let me. Snake can't do it. Character. Oh my god. Totally did. That was a lot, like, just really quick back and forth. Oh my god. I didn't even play Metal, or we didn't play Metal Gear 1 or 2, but you can feel the impact of that moment. Oh man. I'm so Hold on. Dude. Too close. Too close. Ah, yeah, yeah, too close. I don't want to die now. 
Didn't he drop something for you? Did you pick that up? It was just more missiles. Okay. Oh. We're getting hit. This is bad. This is pretty, uh... I made a mistake. Oh, dead. no! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. See where we continue from. I was just being greedy and just trying to That's shoot. okay. I mean... Oh, from the first... I half think phase, so. First phase? My bad, dude. That's okay. We can just skip cutscenes, though. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll get it, guys. Mistakes were made. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Dude, yeah, F's in the chat for Gray Fox. No kidding. That's all it's like. I'm trying to guess the timing here. No, once I hear the missiles, it's like too late already. Um, yeah, the Blossom, they wrote Gray Fox in such a way that the Americans who didn't play Metal Gear 1 or 2 could understand Dude, who he do was. Do I run towards during the missiles? What the hell? What am I doing? I feel like I'm doing even worse. What? The F, dude. Yeah, it's kind of an unfair fight, Crudy. It feels unfair. I'm playing on easy, too. I'm guessing there's no shooting the missiles and having them explode before they get to you. Oh, is that it? Maybe when you get close enough? Yeah, but then he's going to, like, stomp me. Yeah. Maybe that's what gives me time. But and the foot is a, a laser, little... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that scene where he refuses to shoot Gray Fox, to me, or shows that Snake was truly best friends and had a heart. Yeah, he said they worked together in the first game, then in the second game they um, they just happened to be adversaries, and that's just the way of... Yeah. That's just what it's like to be a mercenary. But they, were, they just got to know each other on the battlefield. Yeah. He was deep throat. Dude, I gotta do better than that. Mm. No, we gotta watch this again. This is too much. No, he won't shoot. I can't do it. I was taken from the battle. Neither truly alive nor truly dead. An undying shadow. An undying shadow in the world of lights. Hey, Wicked, how you been? Hey, Wicked, thank you so much for the triple hydrate. Thank you. Good timing. Die. Thank you. Second attempt. Wish me luck. I don't know what to do exactly. Dude! Great box. <laughs> oh, I'm aiming at the wrong spot. Did we start um, getting in touch with Deep Throat after our fight with uh, The first one was um, Vulcan Raven in the snowfield. And was that already after our first uh, fight with... Who? What? The Cyber Ninja? Yes, I okay. believe so. Okay. What the F? I don't even know. What is the rotation here? I'm getting hit. Dude. Oh, I'm getting frustrated. We're going to die again. Uh, right. I feel like he didn't even want to kill Psycho Mantis, Cyber Wolf, etc. If they weren't threatening to launch something like a nuke. Yeah. That's it. I don't know. I'm trying to explore the room now. I'm preparing for the next attempt. I'm legit frustrated. Let me see. 
Maybe something in the guide. I just don't know in between which attacks I should be turning around and firing. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. I suppose that. Keep my distance. These missiles, though. Dude, oh my gosh. Brutal oh. right now. Do I just need more health at the end of the first phase? Mm. Um, oh, wait. Sorry. Wicked. I'm trying to finish this. Right now. Ugh. I'm so sorry to hear that. And I hope, and we hope you're oh my gosh. hanging in there okay. And please don't apologize at all. Um, yeah, we just appreciate whenever you and others can pop in when they can, really. Um, there's no pressure at all to, uh, Dude. to uh, check in. But we, we appreciate it when you do, of course. At least you got iframes. His auto aim is tough. Definitely. Look, yeah. I'm just gonna get hit. I'm just gonna get hit. I have Metal to run Gear toward. is definitely using some sort of aim bot. Much strength, yeah. Uh, Solid Snake could offer a tip, but gonna wait. Um, tip now. Okay, it sounds like <laughs> we, we are stay up too late. totally ready for your I appreciate you offering advice. it up first. Uh, Solid Snake, if you have an opportunity to type it out, we would love to hear it. And we really- I have less health now. It's okay. God we really appreciate you being uh, careful and considerate. He's hacking, definitely hacking. Maybe we gotta switch the controller to the second Jeff uh, grenades. Solid, that's what I needed. Ah, I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that. I appreciate it. Genius. Thank you, Solid. Maybe Ugh. we need to use a cardboard box. That'll that'll be the I always forget these in games, like just Oh me too. When it matters, I forget all of the tools I have oh, available. Absolutely I mean, have you seen me play Ocarina of Time? Well, I mean there's <laughs> also I mean yeah. for both of us there's an element of we play like once a week. Yeah, yeah. To forget. Yeah, definitely. Um. Uh, Crudy says I would try to hide behind the boxes, not the barrels, but not sure. Love to hear your uh, your thoughts. Wicked uh, ain't too bad apart from the fever and cough at the moment. Really hope it stays that way. Okay, that that sounds uh, part of the course for what I've heard with the uh, at least the um, I guess the variant that isn't as severe. So hopefully, yeah. Hopefully everything's good and we are totally thinking about you. And Solid Snake, your tip is working a treat. It is, thank you very much, appreciate it. Press the button. He dodged it. Love it. Kind of feels like you should just drop the chaff grenades at every opportunity. Yeah, chaff grenades are great, Crudy. It's Fudge. making a big difference here. Nice. I just threw another chaff. I hate that. Solid. Snake. I'll crush you into dust. Dude. Apologies for the frustration. No, I I was with you. Um you're uh couldn't find the timing, you know, when was the best opening. Yeah, yeah. One of those. You did it though. We Nicely did it. done. We all did it. There's Thank no you. way this guy is alive after this, right? Right? No spoilers, dog. Right? <laughs> don't ask. I'm just, just kidding. Try to predict. I know, I know. Don't say, don't say. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, you know, because it doesn't seem like anyone really dies. They come back as a cyber nin cybernetic ninja or something.
Oh, it's not over? We're gonna have a fist fight right now. As usual. Liquid. You're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish! When he was young, mm. during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. You can move the camera? Things oh, yeah. Oh. Nice. Sorry, it's just going to be six. Yeah. <laughs> running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? Th that was... <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with hmm. the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Oh, we are... Beaker babies or something. Petri dish babies. Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model Big was the boss. man known then as the great Oh my god, how many snakes are there then? Big there is a gaseous snake. Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells, with a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method. Super baby method? They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six oh! of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octopus. Oh, and then they octopus. absorbed... Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed mm -hmm. to make us. We were accomplices okay. in murder before the day we were even born. <laughs> so it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But mm -hmm. they weren't finished yet. Mm -hmm. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed. To create you. Oh. All of the recessive genes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Took everything from me before I was even born. Okay. Okay. But you and I aren't his only children. Here we go. What? The genome soldiers. They tour his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. Uh, but they're different. Yeah. They're digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. 
The mysteries of humanity were bathed. Thanks to laid father's bare. DNA, they oh, were is this able to live footage? Yeah, they did it before. Responsible for in this game? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. To the proverbial killer instinct. But it wasn't like people. Genes were oh, right, right, right. Into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? That's right. They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the nope. anti tank rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. This goes too deep. <laughs> they tried to say it was post traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti sarin injections, they were all just a cover up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are. Yes. They, too, are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. Mm -hmm. So do I. As do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. Mm. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene mm. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. He's gonna to do that first. Yeah. Okay. Kill you. It's a lot. A lot of stuff going on. Look behind you. Meryl. Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Jeez. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No, we have no past, no future. And even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? There's a lot happening right now. Yep. Sorry for Colonel, missing chat. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? 
to bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the nice. chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance Good to five escape. Minutes. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. Uh, he jeopardizes the his truth standing. Is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating... Oh. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. Okay. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. So he's being manipulated that, too. There's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. Who the hell is this? This is the Secretary <sighs> of Defense, Jim Houseman. Jim! The Colonel back on. Classic Jim. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous. Wait, man. isn't this person supposed to be. He truly believed that he was in command an American? Of operation. Not that he can't have an English Bastard. accent, but. Is that an English Or maybe it's not. I think it's not. It doesn't sound American to me. Like an American accent. Maybe it is. Authority? Authority? Oh, maybe it's like Southern. I can't tell. Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. Uh, what are you talking about? Metal Gear's test Ocelot data. has it. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. Welp. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. Oh, so we've like completely given up on even getting you out of here. Stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. Hmm? <laughs> That's rude. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we're... It says warning! Oh, your time! Straight up! You might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. If you cross this line, you'll fall. 
At this height, it oh my god. Even you. Dude, rush in, snake. Have at you, snake. <gasps> oh my god, okay. Um No items. Yeah, we oh blossom. Yeah, we do like to focus on the heavy story, story moments. And yeah, thank you for understanding. Um and yeah, yeah, I'll I'll catch up with chat now. Yeah. Audrey will try. And oh thank Blue you, Fire, hey, how's it going? Hey, I you have Blue a Fire, good what's up? snake impression. What's your snake impression? Yeah, I hate when the countdown starts during a cutscene. It's like, okay, let's hurry the dialogue. I know yeah. this you're, what you're saying is important, but you know. You, oh god, I didn't like the, this part of the game. Solid Snake says. <laughs> what about it? This this uh encounter or? Oh, he has iframes. I thought I could stun lock him. <laughs> yeah, Juvie. Wait, I've never seen a game do that with the with the real footage in a oh, game. Oh, the FMVs. Yeah, yeah, it's. I feel like it's rare, especially in. Well, I don't know about. Oh, we knocked him off, but he came back. They flexed it a lot. In a PlayStation One era, oh, okay. because of how much data they could store compressed videos on CDs compared oh. to like cartridges, I've never seen that. That's one of the things they flex about, like, oh yes, see, it's the era of CDs. Yeah. And for full motion videos. <laughs> yeah, wicked AO, he swole. <laughs> I mean, both their sh both the shirts, their shirts are off now. I keep kicking them off. That rush. Here we nice. Nice and done. Yeah, doing great, Anthony. Give him, thank you, yeah, thank you. Give thank him the you. Mike Tyson, Anthony. The one, two. We gave him the all one, two. Everyone has a plan. Until they get punched in the face. Yeah, reason to flex because PS1 video wasn't hideously compressed. Mm -hmm. Like the Sega. Okay, Blue Fire. Yeah, we'll, we'll check the Discord. Oh, the voice channel? We I don't think anyone other than us can... Use can our mics talk. and our voice yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You? Maybe you can record it and upload Meryl, it somewhere. You're alive. Thank God. Meryl. Meryl, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that all you can say? Meryl. It must have been terrible. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Um. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. What? I was fighting too, just like you. You're a strong woman. Worse than torture? Them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake, I wanted to see you again. Meryl. That's my Kodak. <laughs> Meryl. <laughs> Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Oh, boy. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. 
Otacon. This is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Merrill, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? Oh, that sounds nice. Aww. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? He's... He's... Otakon. Fighting right now. With his old self. To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. God. Running out of time. I know. I've, I'm like stressed for them. <laughs> Everything's like creaking and shaking around them, and they're yeah. just like. What's, what's that necklace you have? <laughs> <laughs> I must be heavy. Looks like we're not going to have a love scene after all. <laughs> Looks that way. Too bad. <laughs> oh. What? Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. Uh. There's my sneaking suit. What? Hurry up. It oh. is still Alaska outside. Yeah, but I kind of feel like the priority should just be to escape. Hurry. Oh, she got a vest. Wait, where'd she get her? Mm. Looking good. Snake. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> Hurry, but wait, let me look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Even, not even psychotherapy can uh, <laughs> yeah, resist. <laughs> They go Snakes. Die. Charms. <laughs> Cootie. Hey, I'm German and gotta say, get to the choppa. Yeah. <laughs> but is it, isn't he Austrian or something? I'll drive. Damn, a surveillance camera. Yeah, Meryl, we're about to get nuked. Can we, uh. No keys. Get, get this moving? All right, keys. keys? Oh, right, keys. She, she knows. Oh, we got Deanne us something. with the resub, 10 months. Thank you so much. Hi, Deanne, thank you so much. Thanks, Deanne. I gotta go, gotta go. Caught us at a good time. We're close to the end, we think. What, wrong car? What, wrong car? Oh, oh, oh wrong car. Dude. That's okay. Snake, hurry, get in. I'm trying. All right, I'm sorry if there's motion <laughs> sickness. No, Audrey. that's okay. Yeah, Blossom, five minutes left for Namek. I mean, Shadow Moses. The flip was an unnecessary full X. Okay, did I use my ration right? Okay. We needed a little bit of a uh, spice. Thank you, TN. Thank you Appreciate so much, TN. Appreciate having you here. Are right, you ready, Audrey? Motion sickness, feel free to look away if you have to. Okay, no problem. Oh, we love a, a fight, a On car rails. fight scene. Yeah. Um, that would be weird if you had a love scene while everything is crashing. Yeah. I mean... It might be a little bit extra. It's going to be a year soon. Yeah, Tian, it is. Posture check and a triple hydrate. Thank you, Remind me Tien. after this. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll get the uh, triple hydrate in first. Thanks, Tian. And good morning to you, or good afternoon to you. Happy time zone. Yeah, Snake. Dude, where's my car? We're, getting, we're running low. <laughs> How come we can't just like run the car through the through the uh, soldiers? She could. Okay. Oh my oh god! My this god. dude. <laughs> oh, 
was your plan, Liquid? <laughs> oh, I got you. One shot in. Oh. Liquid, I think you need to try another move. Uh, this would be a cool part for VR. Yeah. Yeah, this would be cool. Probably would definitely make me motion sick, but uh, oh, definitely cool. MTN beat OG today. Very nice. Oh, nice. Congrats. Congrats. Sorry, I'm missing stuff. No, that's okay. That's okay. I'm trying to not game over here because I keep doing that. Yeah, Meryl, annoying snake to her. Yep, also Meryl. Desk front flips and checks out snake's outfit. Here we go. I mean, we did a lot of checking out Meryl as well, so, you know. It was an objective. Yeah. We're at the surface. Yeah, let's not relax because they're still sending the... Uh, the nukes are on the way. The yeah. nukes, so... Um, Yeah, Blue Fire. Yeah, we only Girl. the only people who have permission for the voice channel okay. is uh, yeah, that's Anthony what we're and myself. Yeah. Um, but if you want to like record your impression Girl, somehow, can you, move? you can feel free to post that in it's Show and no Tell. Good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? Oh God. I can't see him either. Confirm the kill, please. Liquid's dead. No. He's definitely not dead. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we're both stuck. Snake. Okay, who's gonna come in clutch here? <gasps> Hawksai? The doctor? Uh, I thought it wasn't supposed to affect him, right? If it if it can affect him, then it can definitely affect us. If he's dead, that means. Don't say it, Snake. Yep. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Ooh. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary what? of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. No. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority Colonel? over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. <laughs> In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. What? Colonel. Just like that? Easy. Meryl's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank Colonel you, was Snake. fighting too, dude. Snake. He just makes one call to the president Sorry. and it's all good? I kept a lot of things from you. Okay. It's okay, okay. Maybe. We assume Snake. he has had the evidence to back it up. I'm not a colonel. Huh. Oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. 
Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and this. Mei Ling will be fine. This is memory card. The battery on these nano machines mm. will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Yeah. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. Oh my god. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Frankie? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Dude, snake. Naomi, and? Your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He's not going to tell the truth. Yeah, he he's not. Every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? <gasps> he? Everybody dies when their uh -huh. time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? <laughs> what? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. What? Live, Snake. It's all I can say to you. No! What? When exactly, yeah, Naomi? Yeah, I know! That wasn't clear at all! <laughs> what? Yeah, I know! What? The F. Yeah! Each person is born with their fate uh -oh. into their own genetic code. Okay, hold on. It's unchangeable, immutable. Oh, I, I see. Wait. That's not all there is to It's life. immutable, but... It's up to you. I finally realized that. Up to you what you want to do with your life. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was. Who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate. To be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. Oh? And then live. Like all those other people didn't choose snake. life? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I'm going to choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. From here on, I'm going to just live. They got like a fox die prompt. <laughs> this, they chose die. Yeah. It kind of feels like she's trying to sneak her way out of this. Trying to snake her way out of this. this to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other. Teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. 
Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. What's that? Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or the first time we met? Bring it up later, I'll explain. A reminder it. of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Aww. <laughs> Not you specifically. Yeah. <laughs> But the proverbial you. <laughs> <laughs> so, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Oh, what? His name is David? So, where to, Dave? What? I didn't know that. Hmm. He actually has I a think name. It's time we look for a new path in life. David Hater. Is it actually his full a name? Path? <laughs> a new path. I don't know. Just Will David. We find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. No spoilers, y'all. <laughs> what are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us, too. Oh, yeah. spring for us. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky. The sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on, let's enjoy life. <laughs> Colonel calls in. Hey, you kids, knock it off. <laughs> Uh, snake, your codec's still open. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh! In the 1980s, there were more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world at all times. The total destructive power amounted to 1 million times that of the Hiroshima A bomb. In January 1993, START 2 was signed, and the United States and Russia agreed to reduce the number of deployed strategic nuclear warheads to 3,500 in the nation by December 2000. However, as of 1998, there still exists. 26,000 nuclear warheads in the world. I have the delayed stream up on my other monitor nice. too. So that helps. Impressive. Oh. There it is. Credits. Uh, so just real quick, the um, the bandana in the end was like our reward for our playthrough. Oh, so not everyone, or what do you mean? Uh, there's it, rewards to items to use in future playthroughs. Oh, yeah, don't worry like about a awesome. new game plus sort of item? Yeah, that bandana in particular gives you infinite ammo. Oh, nice. So I think the, the you get re you don't miss okay. out for playing easier difficulties, yeah, but you're yeah, rewarded yeah. for playing harder difficulties. Oh. So there's certain things you can get for playing harder difficulties. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, watch the credits. Okay, there's a, yeah, there's yeah. a stinger don't or something. About, don't worry about it. Um, Say okay. no more. Okay, okay. Um... Thank you guys for cheering us on. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Chase, Roy, can I date your niece? That's what I was feeling. <laughs> I was like, it kind of, yeah, I didn't know about their relationship, I guess. Let's get your raw thoughts. <laughs> I I was kind of, I, I knew not to expect, like, a super solid, um, um, just, like, like science sound kind of explanation for everything, mm -hmm. but I kind of got lost at the end there. I was like, wait, liquid died. So that means that, uh, oh, should we be more FMV, dude? Nice. That's okay, you just watch it. Um, yeah, it ju they just kind of glossed over, wait, liquid died. Doesn't that mean I too? And then it was kind of like, you choose, no, just glossed how, over, yeah. you choose how you want to live. Yeah. Uh, oh, cute. Um, 
so then it's like, are we are we still in danger, or is it really just a matter of uh, mind? Like, oh, if we if we uh, choose to live, are we are we like, you know, is that the true vaccine? They always gotta leave some mystery. Yeah, it just seems like Snake was like, all right, I'm gonna I'm choose to live for a, uh, I'm gonna choose a reason to live. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, it's kind of romantic. Yes. Yeah. Instead of uh, some of the stuff in this game is very straightforward. This is how things are, and sometimes it's very poetic. Yeah. But sometimes when it's poetic, you want it to be a little bit more straightforward. Yeah. Like I, I, <laughs> I, I, I wasn't. I was wondering if it was gonna follow its own logic sure. about everything, but then at the end, it went, it went like full romantic poetic. Nice. And I was like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. But I mean. Typically how, typically how endings go, right? It kind of it kind of leaves things open too, right? It leaves things open. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm like I'm into everything. So, it's I'm not complaining or anything. I was yeah. just uh yeah. I couldn't follow the logic and then I was like, okay, I'll just, you know. You got to yeah. you just got to let go sometimes. Yeah. The song is great, by the yeah. way. Yeah. The music's wonderful yeah. in this game. Um yeah. may I ask, do you have any favorites? Favorite moments, favorite characters, favorite performances. What things stood out as particularly special about this game to um, you? I mean, um, Gray Fox's whole uh, character arc tragic was like it was so wild. It was like suddenly there's this like ninja. Yeah. What is this ninja? And he cool just kind of yeah. Oh, total cool factor in, in just like the movement and the design mm-hmm. and everything. And then you find in when you see him, you just feel like he's this like unhinged like crazy lab party, experiment yeah. something and you're like what's going on yeah then you kind of find out more about him and then you fight him and he's just you know you just feel like he's this wild there's no there's no getting through chaos uh to yeah. this to this person and then at the end he comes and he he like saves you yeah and, like, well you thought you got it all when you're like it's gray fox snake knows him you thought that was the level of emotional connection to that character that was a hype, right? Yeah. And then, at the, right at the end, he saves us. Yeah. Naomi. Naomi. Yeah. Their Trans- connection is a yet another layer. Yeah. Yeah. And that he saved her from a life of we don't even know, right? Because he had this guilt. Yes, and then that's yet another layer. Yeah. That he didn't just save her. She she doesn't know. And Snake then, chose yeah, to at the end, that. she doesn't... She, Snake doesn't tell her yeah and he remains the uh the hero yeah yeah tragic kind of a cool character yeah yeah um gray fox definitely stood out for me as well yeah that was special that was special i think blossom said something a little while ago that i'll have to scroll up to to um it it kind of it resonated with me Mm -hmm. Right here. Oh. I love how Metal Gear can get cheesy and sentimental and have it make sense. Mm. I think so. I think that's what we've been just kind of repeating in different words. Um, Jay says, I wonder if his name was David because he took down Goliath, a.k.a. Metal Gear. Could be I, a lot I, of I, I references that. like that. Yeah. Pro- yeah. Um, mm, uh, Ash never, never beat this game. Yeah, it was pretty special, th- yeah. this game. Four streams. It didn't take too long. Uh, Blue Fire did post the voice clip in Discord. Sweet. Nice. We will we'll check it out later. Oh, oh the 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 um the uh huskies. The the, uh, huskies. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life, and then live. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Whose voice is this? Those two are still alive. His voice. The vector? Yes, sir. Fox dies should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. You don't know the I voice? Covered all of Rex's dummy warhead. It must be Ocelot. Mm-hmm. No, sir. My cover is intact. My cover! Who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity. But he's been disposed of. So he didn't just accidentally kill him in the torture. Interior one was the winner after all. Interior one. That's right. And 
until the very end. Liquid thought he was the inferior one. <gasps> oh! Yes, sir, I oh agree completely. It takes a well-balanced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third <gasps> Solidus. Solidus? What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. The woman? Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. This goes too deep. <laughs> is our score. Nice. <sighs> Komodo Dragon is our code name? Yeah, that's our code name. Yes. <laughs> wow. Love a good stinger like that. Oh. The woman, I think, is probably talking about Naomi, Naomi Hunter. Naomi Hunter, yeah, 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 definitely. Um. Oh, that's why it was so easy. What do you mean? To call off the uh, nukes and get the um, and get uh, sure, sure. the uh, secretary arrested. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, so when oh. Ocelot, when you were being tortured, and Ocelot took the data disc, yes, yeah. Also, the fact that he accidentally killed the DARPA chief before we arrived. Yes. Yeah. Because DARPA chief knew his identity. He identity. Was yeah, yeah. So he killed him, and then that led to the whole. Right. Uh, decoy octopus situation. The president is. There's another. A third they one. were triplets. And it turns out David was the inferior snake. So, what does that mean about. You can change to just chatting if you want. See. What does that mean about the way they lived? <gasps> wow. Was all over you? Yeah, he was. He wanted to see the ending. <laughs> <gasps> wow! What a that was a really good stinger. Yeah, that was really good. Yep, leaves a lot of questions. It seems to like makes you feel like it's answering some stuff, but not really. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, sorry, we missed out on chat again. Yeah, sorry guys, um, but we just want to like you know we don't want to miss anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, play the others when you can. And yeah, Blossom answered it. Still undecided, just going with the flow. Exactly. We're going with the flow. Absolutely. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Pinoy also asks, will you be playing Metal Gear Solid 2? Metal mm -hmm. Gear Solid 2 would be amazing, Jay says. We'll have to yeah. think about it. Yeah, we will definitely think about it. Uh, this is quite the ride, for sure. And and uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. So uh, no promises, but, you know, we're uh, keeping our keeping our mind open. Yeah. Keeping Audrey open and I will mind. be talking about it off stream. Um Honestly, though, I had fun. I hope yeah. you had fun, Audrey. Yeah. Um, Crudy, even for an adult, it's hard to understand the full plot, but I got to say as a kid, this was truly mind-blowing. Yeah. yeah. And I, it's special. That's mm -hmm. why That's why I love our duo streams is that we do take the moment to make sure we're both on the same page and understanding everything and with you guys in chat. So a game like this really benefits from that. Yeah, definitely. Um, my standout character in this game was Sniper Wolf, Blue Fire says. And yeah, I, I and I think both of us really liked Cyber Wolf uh -huh, yeah. too, and and her death of all the um, of all the foxhound deaths was pretty pretty, pretty powerful. Brutal. Yeah. yeah, brutal. Snake um, really sympathized with her, which was part of it. I mean, when it comes to brutal deaths, then I think that has to go to Vulcan uh, Raven. Vulcan Raven. Yeah, for that one wins most gruesome for sure. Um, I'll yeah, be watching you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, man, the Foxhound crew. I love it. Yes. And I, I I think maybe this is a recurring theme across the Metal Gear Solid games. Just like really um um I guess bosses or enemies with big personalities. Yeah. Really diverse, mm -hmm. really eccentric in different ways. I mean when Ocelot unusual. comes in and he's just like doing all these tricks yeah. for like 15 minutes <laughs> before yeah. we get into the actual fight. Yeah. I mean, it, it's... There's like three flips between words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revolver. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Ah. <laughs> Lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, next movie night, I suggest Escape from New York and Twins. Mm -hmm. 
are they must be real i think i saw twins mentioned a couple times mm -hmm. maybe some similar themes in those um there's yeah, a connection cool. between escape from new york to maybe we'll look it up and i'll explain it to audrey later but okay uh, kojima was certainly influenced by it oh okay <laughs> yeah. um hard choice between gray fox and cypher wolf yeah i really liked um, Sniper Blue Fire, I'm going to delete your message Oops. just in case before Audrey reads it. Okay, I hope I did, you I understand because just there's wanna... a very real chance we're going to play Metal Gear Solid 2. There's a real chance, no promises, but uh -huh. I don't want to set up any expectations okay. for Audrey. Yeah, you know, go yeah. In, go in Thanks totally for understanding. Blank. Thank you. Um, yeah, I really like Cyber Wolf's uh, performance. The voice actor. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who uh, by name, but yeah, I... That was definitely a standout mm -hmm. for me. The game really hinged on everyone's performances. Mm -hmm. Just that that balance between um, the uh, absurdity of some of the things and the the heavy seriousness, yeah. the drama, and the campiness. You got to be able to sell that mm -hmm. to keep us in on it and not just constantly like laughing at it. You mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. whether yeah. it's like too campy or like too serious. How does it work so well? Yeah, it's really incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what does the future hold for Snake? Tune in. Tune in to the next episode of Metal Gear Solid. Chala. <laughs> <laughs> Chala. <laughs> yeah, Blossom, I was thinking the same thing. And I know Blue Fire mm. is thinking the same thing, same thing too. Mm, cool. So, you, so, so, just going off that stinger, it sounds like everything suppose, yeah, yeah. went according to plan almost. Someone's plan. Someone's everything plan. went according to someone's plan yeah it always does we right? think it's the president but you know there's going to be a higher a higher entity blue fire yes psycho mantis and otacon <gasps> yeah psycho mantis ended up being particularly touching and yeah. disturbing at the I, same time i love a kind of kind of odd creepy vibe like yeah. that and the boss fight was probably my favorite boss fight of, of the game certainly encounter of and the i'm game. so glad that you didn't know what 90 percent of it 80 percent of it something like that well oh you mean the game or psycho mantis psycho mantis i i i knew about the controller switching the port thing yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i i didn't really understand why Sure. But I was like, oh, you got to switch it because for some reason. Mm, okay. And it's because he can only read the mind of something. Control board one. Yeah, control board one or something. Yeah. But, you know, it's I, I just, I totally eat that stuff up. I, I just, I, it's kind of, when you think, when you step back and you think about it, it's kind of like, ha ha ha, they did it. You know, yeah. got him. But, you know, it's it's fun. I, I, I really do like that stuff. Yeah, so you like Suikoden. Yeah. yeah, that was that was fun. That I'm was glad fun. I prepared that. I had to do that in my own time when Audrey wasn't around. Prepare the memory card mm -hmm. to have save files from all the relevant games that would be referenced. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was that funny. paid off. Yeah, and some people made jokes like, "Oh, see, you have a subscription to an OnlyFans." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I God. mean, you you even joked about it in the moment right before it happened." Yeah, yeah. You were joking like, "Oh, you're playing on a PS One." Yeah, and then yeah. You're like, Suikoden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that that was really fun kojo you actually had the legit as your dreams data because you legit played it that's that must have been a trip oh my gosh that that's i can't that's really special. imagine that must have been so 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 special um yeah crudy says i kind of want to say that there are at least two endings to this game and i think you guys have the good ending i think i know what you're talking about crudy i think i'll just say it i think there is uh, uh, depending on whatever conditions you fulfill or not i think you escape with Otacon instead of meryl <gasps> really is that is that what you're referring to? Like you Trudy? can't like you think you can't save Meryl or something? I don't know exactly the conditions for it. Um, Wait, I'm kind of down for for riding into the sunset with Otacon. <laughs> he was maybe we can uh, find a link to that video and post it on the Discord or something. Yeah, Otacon had a pretty great um, character arc as well. Absolutely, he even said it for us. He's like, I feel like a complete person now. Yeah, here. like he was living in this like. The shadow of his family's history and trying to um tragic yeah trying to escape what he thought was like some like predestined fate for mm -hmm. him because of his uh what his father did and what his grandfather did and then it kind of seemed like he was going in that same direction he was like ah, mm -hmm. oh, you know kind of um 
kind of down about that, but then he turned it all around and gotcha. yeah. Yeah, I agree. He, Meryl can his die. Yeah. <gasps> if you give up during the, that's why he gives you that option to press the button to give up. Really? Say no more, y'all. Um, wow. Otacon's performance was really great. Yeah, I can't, um, I can't think of one where I was like, oh, this feels weak. This feels like a weak performance. Yeah. The performance, he he really carried that feeling of, I'm trying my best to be strong. Mm, definitely. Like he, he had his weaknesses, but the, the trembling determination in his voice yeah. is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Blossom says, I actually, actually, I noticed most of the villains' backstories involve broken or dysfunctional families, right? Mm. Yeah. There's a, either an element of lack of family, dysfunctional family, and there was a ton of like trying to defy your fate, whether yeah. or not it's genetics, just some kind of defying your fate. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. We saved Meryl. We did mm. it. Oh. I think the best part of later games you actually see the living. <laughs> yeah, during the codec calls. I mean, I like this. I like what I they actually, were able to do. Yes. Very comic booky. I love the look of the codec calls. Yeah. It is so cool. So like cool. retro futuristic. Mm, right? Yeah. Just what they thought the future would be like. Yeah. Back then is just a cool aesthetic. Yeah. But yeah, I I uh I agree, Kojo. It's it's really cool. Yeah. Man. How does it hold up? This is what 24 mm. years later after the game originally came out in 1998. Mm. You know, Audrey came into this knowing that the Metal Gear series is this huge thing. Like, how does it hold up compared to your expectations of what it would be? Oh, okay. Um, as far as expectations go, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just like, I think it, my what I understood about this game is that, and what we actually experienced here, like, it lined up pretty close nice nice just like it's kind of a wild ride um it's it's emotional mm -hmm. uh and it's a little more than a little eccentric and uh maybe it doesn't like fully fully uh follow any logic or anything but it has its own you know it has its own um it has its own logic or science in it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it it's, tries to um, remain consistent within that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's it's fun, and 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 that it that it happens in kind of like our real world setting, but it's obviously not um, our real world. But it pulls on events from events that happened in our yeah, real world. Yeah, historical fiction. Yeah, I'm just curious. I wonder as the games progress, will it will it pull from events that happened like closer to when the uh, when those good games thought, thought to have. came out, because well, did they mention a year for this? When this takes place? Yeah, they were in the 21st century. I, uh, please, I think it's 2005. Okay. I don't remember. I, th I thought I thought I remember. Without referencing any future games, does anyone know I when know. Shadow Moses m incident in Metal Gear Solid 1, when that takes place? Okay, yeah. In the timeline. Um, did you know there's game. actually a Metal Gear Solid 1 digital comic? Mm -hmm. I forget if it's in it's on the HD collection or what it's neat to go through though. I think someone Blossom, I think it might have been included as a downloadable for Metal Gear Solid 4. It's oh. either that or the HD collection you're talking about. The cool. HD collection was released for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and it includes Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and Peace Walker. Oh, okay. Uh, Blue Fire says my dad plays Fukuden before nice. Metal Gear Solid, and he was freaked out by that. He asked me how that worked, and I told him Fukuden and Metal Gear were developed by the same company, and the creator of Metal Gear Solid wanted to curveball players with PS1 potential. Yeah. They did it, and they did it, dude. Yeah. That must have been fun for your dad. Yeah, yeah. GP says I had no idea that Metal Gear Solid was about weird genetic theory. 
Did yeah, you? I actually, yeah. It's funny that you mentioned that, Jupi. I, th- I think maybe I didn't know how far it goes. Yeah. Like, I know to some extent about the nano mach- machine stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I don't think I did know. I'm, I'm sure I, I probably read something at some time about it, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I just. It didn't occur to me when we were watching it. Like, oh, they're actually clones. There's a third clone. Like, I didn't. I didn't really know about. They that went all stuff. the way with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cranked it up to eleven. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that they they were kind of pushing like this brother, um, or at least Liquid kept saying we're we're family, we're mm-hmm. brothers. And all of them, all of these soldiers are our brothers and sisters because we we all have this same gene mm-hmm. in it. It's yeah, it kind of adds to the I guess romantic nature of it instead yes. of just thinking yeah, of, instead of just thinking like oh yeah, you know they're just it's just genes. Yeah, they're just genes. But no, this romanticizing makes us, it for sure. Yeah, this makes us family. This is yeah, this is uh, yeah. Ash asks, plan to play all of them, or is it we'll see as you go? Yeah, we've just said mm-hmm. we'll see. You know. I mean, we certainly had fun. Um, I think I can speak for both of us that we had a good experience here. Uh, Ultimately, Ash, the thing is, Audrey and I need to talk about it off stream. We can't just make a promise. Like, what if we're not on the same page about it, but we're live right now, (laughs) and one of us says yes when the other one's thinking no. This game was relatively short. We got to think about it. Right? Yes. Yeah. How long to beat was about 11 or 12 hours. Oh, okay. Okay. But we had about 10 hours. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 for some reason, I was expecting it to be longer. That was one impression I had about oh, the Metal Gear Solid games. Did Were you reminded when we got to Disc 2, you're like, oh, maybe it's not today then. Oh, I didn't even think about oh, yeah. that. Because yeah. Disc 2 was today. Disc 2 was today. Yeah. And, and, oh, okay. Were you, I was wondering if you were going to see that and worry that, oh, we're only halfway. It was it mostly just M- FMVs? I think it's mostly FMVs yeah. on the final disc. Yeah. That's why. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. The video file is taking up most of the second um, that, Yeah. Kojiro, are you talking about what year? Yeah, we were talking about what year uh, like Metal Crudy Gear looked it up for us. Solid 1 took place in. Tried to Google. Uh, okay, February 28th, 2005. Gotcha. There it is. That's what I was thinking. It, yes, it was even Thank a specific you, date like that. There really is a Shadow Moses Island. Oh, really? <laughs> cool. Part of Let's the Fox go. Islands? <laughs> it's real? The Fox Archipelago. Uh, and I kind of have that dynamic as well. Um, oh. Yeah. Let's not get too specific, yeah. Blue Fire, just in case there's people in chat who right. haven't played nine, but I Generally think I know what like you're talking that, about. Yeah. I see, I I see what you about. mean, Blue Fire. I see what you mean. Uh, my, my guess, personally, is Metal Gear Solid 2 is going to happen, but it's just a matter of how many games in between <laughs> to like save That's your prediction? Game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think I personally think, like I said earlier, but this kind of game is like ripe for duo stream vibes. Oh, yeah. 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 Just story discussion for predictions sure. and all that. Yeah. I think the only negative about this game was that it's short. It it definitely feels yeah. short. I wouldn't want it to drag out, though, James. That, you know? I feel the same way. Like short I feel like sweet. They, they told a really great story yeah. and they, nothing felt like... Um, like stretched out for no reason yeah. and or uh, yeah. nothing felt excessive exactly I agree, I agree but but then it also it feels you like more. when you yeah when I, I don't know I guess there are certain expectations when it comes to a game like when you when you get a game you kind of expect to have at least some length of time for uh, entertainment I don't know I, I mean I'm not saying I I was expecting that or I'm um, I <laughs> don't like a short game experience yeah. I actually prefer a short game experience um, but more yeah I, I recognize too, yeah. it I kind of yeah. recognize that. I've I've heard this um this way of thinking. I uh, I try not to think too much about like, was this worth six? Was this a sixty dollar game? And yeah, while this other I game know. was a sixty dollar game, but I only way. play this. Yeah. But like, I try to think of it in terms of like, maybe compared to like movies, fifteen dollars for a two hour movie, sixty dollars for like a ten hour game. I mean, I'm I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. A game that you can replay and do differently. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to me, that's a positive. I like short replayable games. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm with you, Blossom. Crudy, nine-hour playthrough isn't that short. I, I don't know. Maybe because I feel like all the other or many of the other PlayStation 1 games that I played sure. in recent memory were kind of longer. Hmm. I mean, several discs, kind of long yeah. experiences. Yeah, Except RPG, Parasite though, Eve. yeah. Parasite Eve was... 
I don't remember. Or like 15? Maybe like Something 15. Like that. Yeah, yeah. I guess, that yeah, also I guess. wasn't a super long game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, compared to a 40 hour RPG. Yeah, yeah. I was, mm -hmm. I mean, Final Fantasy VII came to mind and that was about that, about that length. Mm, yeah, Blossom, like Hollow Knight. Yeah, I know Audrey loves it and I do like it too, but I don't have any plans to replay it soon because of how it took me 40 hours. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I, it's I, on my radar. Maybe me one day. Oh, no promises. That would be really fun. Mm -hmm. I s still feel, still I feel bad for Otacon for losing Wolf as well. Yeah, that was pretty. Yeah. Special, but Snake called it immediately. Like, uh, sounds like a uh, Stockholm syndrome, where you start to sympathize with your captor. And you start to. Uh, but feeling things for. Was them. Otacon captured, or was he willingly working on this thing? I forgot to, in order to subvert. Um, his I mean, after the revolution started, he's like, "Oh, I'm a prisoner now." Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, with soldiers everywhere. Yeah. But he, but yeah. Before that, he was just an engineer working on this cool tank. Oh, tank. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That but makes now sense. he's working on the same oh, thing, yeah. but for terrorists. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, but he, yeah, why, why did Otacon, um go to love? Sniper Wolf. It, I mean, he kind of cited the animals as. He says, like, someone who loves dogs can't be all that bad. Dude, I kind of, I kind of get that though. <laughs> like, someone who shows compassion towards animals, yeah. it's like. And she, I feel like she convinced us in the end. Yes, she's like yeah. a mercenary for a higher killer, but she says she doesn't kill for sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But she still kills. She still kills. So. I mean, she was ready to she was ready to kill our party, and used uh, used someone as bait. <laughs> yeah, was it kill she's us? definitely done terrible things, but Certainly. yeah, it's I it's kind of a uh, I don't know feels like a forbidden romance almost. Certainly, and yeah. uh, but definitely love a, can bloom on the battlefield. Love can bloom on the battlefield. I don't know if I knew about um like the snake and Meryl dynamic. Cool. I don't think I knew about that. So lots of flirting everywhere. Everyone's flirting with everyone. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's the spy life, I suppose. That is the spy life. Just max charm points. Yeah. Is like a requirement, right? Yes, yes. Definitely Bond. We're all in charm. Bond, James Bond. Yeah. Snake. Exactly. Solid snake. Exactly. <laughs> Um, compared to something like Resident Evil, it's not. You could be yeah. all PS1 uh, RE games in nine hours. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 That that puts things in. Perspective. Yeah. When you compare to RPGs, for certainly these are shorter. Mm. But they're 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 built to be like replayed, for sure. Mm. Um. Yeah. Hey, Neon Genesis, do you think you'll continue to play the series? We've said mm. a big maybe. We're really big interested maybe. in it, but Audrey and I will have to think about it off stream. Yeah. Uh, we'll, of course, announce all that on our schedule down yeah. below and on our Discord for sure. I mean, I do, I do have to say that Stinger at the End is a pretty sweet um, tease. Yeah. And leaving off on that note, it definitely wants you, uh, leaves you wanting. Mm. So I, that's, I'll that's, that's all I'll say. <laughs> I, I definitely did not know about Solidus Snake. I would have guessed they would have went with Gaseous. Yeah, you gaseous said that earlier. <laughs> snake. Um, a solidus. No spoilers, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, Snake flirted with all the ladies except Sniper Wolf. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He didn't get a chance to. <laughs> I mean, she kind of, did she kind of maybe flirt with him a little bit? Played with her prey kind of as a Played predator. with her prey. Yeah. 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 That's kind of how it was. Yeah. Playing with her food. Playing with her food, yeah. So he didn't really get a chance because they first met when he just or when she just shot Meryl. Yeah, I, maybe it's just I I don't remember exactly, but maybe it's just I, it's just that I feel that way because she has this natural like sensualness to her. Yeah, like, I think so. That just she just oozes this sensuality, so it feels feels that way. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, hello, hey Neon Genesis and King Bertle. Hello, hey, how, what's how up? are you? Um, what a special game. What about you? Did you have, um, I mean, we kind of talked about some standout characters. Um, 
were there any other moments in particular that you remember or <sighs> that that you re remember re we recalled as we were playing it again this time as you were playing it again the biggest thing was just overall the performances of all the the actors mm. um and the way the game also really respects and honors the voice actors when when there's a little title card with the character name it also shows, shows the performers name. i love that a lot yeah. of respect for the acting yeah. in this game uh -huh. love it it weirdly kind of takes you out of the game for a moment yeah but it's but because it's like oh yeah this is this is game. something this is yeah a performance by mean, yeah. this person yeah. but i'm not i'm not saying i dislike it it's just um yeah i i, I don't know i, I think just, I, I totally agree with you but it also kind of dips its toes into cinema yeah oh yeah i yeah do, yeah, yeah by definitely doing stuff that like way. that just like when we started the game and we had control over snake mm -hmm. but like the opening credits were so wrong i loved too. that it was awesome. i loved that yeah yeah interactive mm -hmm. entertainment yeah a gassy snake, Cash. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, Cash's snake sounds like a personal problem. Yeah. I think Snake was respecting Otacon. He knew he liked her, right? Like, yeah, give a bro true. a chance. I love that could take. Be, could be. I, I mean, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I never ex uh, got that explicitly, but I just, I love that take. <laughs> and I'm gonna, that's gonna be my canon yeah. uh, feeling in my head. <laughs> just snake, so yeah, Snake was being a bro to Otacon. Yeah. Yes, yeah, some good plot twists toward the end. I hope you enjoyed those twists. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Gray Fox stuff was real good. The Gray Fox stuff that probably was stood out to me really good. again. Um, it was special. Oh man, I mean yeah, and when you think about the timing about uh, when Deep Throat reached out to you, it all, and then you connect the dots. It's like oh god, Gray Fox was in our corner mm -hmm. for half the game, or mm -hmm. I mean at least after we kind of I guess knocked him. And knock some sense back into him after our fight. Yeah. Yeah. Gray Fox! Really cool. Really, really cool character. Um, yeah, great storytelling for 1997. Oh, mm -hmm. this was 1997 as well? I mean, uh, not as well, but... I think 98, right? Whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Or maybe it was I mean, around that time, 90s, I mean... Maybe 97 in Japan. Oh, okay. Wow. Maybe. 97, 98. Is was quite the year for video games, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. But thank you guys very much for hanging in there. Yeah. I, I really treasure these duo streams that we try to do once a week and what it's become. Just this real-time video game book club. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's oh, kind of fun. Crudy's comment, I always like the character that sacrifices himself to rescue people. Such a big move. Yeah, yeah and I especially that character arc where it's someone you thought was maybe lost mm. and then they find they kind of come back to themselves and then find themselves and save they find save meaning everybody. in their life by yeah. doing it yeah special 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 yeah jace my first duo stream too might be my last because of my schedule oh jace. i mean we appreciate you um, chiming in for to make it work this. and hanging out, yeah. making it work, and um, you know, whenever you can pop in, we totally appreciate it, uh, and we we appreciate your support from our YouTube channel as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> awesome to watch live. Yeah, it's it's fun to be able to bounce off of chat and off of each other. Um, so we really like these duo streams. And yeah, who knows? Like we we have fallen into like a regular schedule, but. We have lives outside of streaming. Sometimes things can move around. Of course, so of course. It won't always be on a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, Crudy, you can check out their streams on YouTube. Yeah, Jason's yeah, already on the, the YouTube. <laughs> Crudy, and Crudy, we appreciate your comments on our YouTube videos. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that about yeah, wraps that it, it up. Yeah. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid, PlayStation 1. I'm really glad we got to do this. I'm um, really glad you guys tuned in for it. And anyone watching the VODs, appreciate you choosing to spend your time with us. No promises about future Metal Gear Solid games, but we are enthusiastic about the series. Mm. Um, I have played everything except for Metal Gear Solid 5. So just like this game, if we do play future ones, it'll be kind of like this, probably, probably like this setup where mm. it's like a guided tour for Audrey to experience the story. Mm -hmm. Um, and I hope you guys are okay with the way that we have that set up. Um, if you check our schedule, what do we have going on? 
tomorrow, uh, I have more Radiant Historia, yes. perfect chronology on my solo stream. Um, we did some major stuff in the last stream, and I think I'm going to try to wrap up some stuff in tomorrow's stream. Ooh, It's exciting. a JRPG on the Nintendo 3DS, and I'm really enjoying it. So feel free to tune in and uh, hang out with me. On Friday on the schedule, I have uh, more solo stream with Anthony, continuing some Final Fantasy XIV. Hopefully, um, we'll make some progress in the story. Um, I hope to catch up one day. Mm. No spoilers. And then Audrey's next solo stream on the schedule is next week on Monday. She'll be continuing her very first playthrough of The Legend of Zelda, Zelda Ocarina of Time, the original Nintendo 64 version on Correct. an original Nintendo 64. That's been a pleasure. Yes. Super fun. Super fun. I'm excited to get back into it. Yeah. Audrey's in the middle of a dungeon. Yes. And uh, she'll be continuing that. And then, yeah, just if there's if you guys want to stay up to date about our um, schedule, you can check here on Twitch down below. You can come hang out with us on our Discord. Thank you, TN. Thank you very much, our mods, for posting the links yeah, and all that. Thank you, TN. Thank you, mods. Discord is a wonderful place where a lot of you guys already are hanging out with us, talking about all kinds of things, including video games, of course. Mm -hmm. You can follow us on social, Instagram and Twitter. And then we mentioned it just a moment ago, but YouTube.com slash Reany is where we upload much higher quality recordings of our VODs. So if you want to rewatch something or catch something you missed, um, we first recommend our YouTube channel just because the quality is higher. Mm -hmm. But you can, of course, always watch the VODs here on Twitch as well. Totally up to you. Yep. And uh, yeah, You guys have to turn off the camera first and then keep talking some cheesing stuff. Yeah, we just need a, <laughs> an ocelot voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hey, Hungry. Thanks for hanging out this hey, stream. Hungry. Thanks for lurking. Appreciate yeah. having you here. And uh, yeah, Final Fantasy is still in the schedule. It is difficult. Scheduling is difficult. Scheduling is difficult. Scheduling is difficult, and we appreciate you guys um, being understanding about yeah. any last-minute changes. Mm -hmm. Thank um, you so much, Cootie and Jupy as well. Thank you, thank Jupy, you. thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Else. Hopefully, you had fun. <laughs> Hopefully, you were hang able to hang in there for Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Metal Gear. Metal Gear. <laughs> we're gonna try to find someone to raid now, but we just want to make a nice, clean cut for the vod here. Thank you guys very much. Do you guys have? Do you have anything else to say, Audrey? Nope. That was that about sums it up. Yeah. Metal Gear. Love. I love video games. That's what Metal Gear Solid makes me feel. Aw. Yeah. It's special. It is special. And thank you for um, being down to play Metal Gear Solid. I hope the oh, motion sickness yes. wasn't too much for you. Uh, at times it was, Certainly. but for the most part, I was okay because uh, you were behind the controller, yeah. so I could kind of take a break. Yeah, it's it's good for Audrey because she can like look away from the screen and just hang out with chat yeah, when yeah, she feels so. motion sickness. It was fine. Um, little warning, future games may be a little more rough. Oh if yeah. If we choose to play more, but I mean, Audrey I'm kind of I'm kind of going through it with Ocarina right now, yeah, so yeah. you know I'm training myself, yeah. I'm getting stronger. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much once again. I'm Audrey and I'm Anthony, and I totally forgot that we have ginger beer. Maybe we can pull that out for Audrey. Definitely, I have my ginger candies here too. Yeah. So you know, Double we are up. we have a lot of ginger gingery things to soothe, soothe nausea. Yeah. yeah, seriously. So <laughs> also ginger. Beer, yeah, you meant bear, okay. <laughs> yeah, gin ginger bears. <laughs> yes. But thank you guys, yeah. I I'll do it again. My name's Anthony. And I am Audrey. Together we are Reany. We will see you guys soon in a future stream. Have a wonderful night. Play some video games and see you soon. <laughs>